you wanna recognize you have authority over Asia Aduna the mighty one you are the only one I recognize you have authority over us God of oh my pastor you are the living God God of my Jew you are the mighty one you are the only one I recognize you have authority over us Asian Adonai, the mighty one, you are the only one I recognize, you have authority over great spirit, great spirit, great spirit, every other God to bow for you. Oh God, I choose you. You are the great spirit. Oh, you are the great spirit. Great spirit. Every other God to bow for you. That in the Okay, Daddy, ni Pokemon. Oh, yeah, to the enemy, and the man. Oh, come on. Money, and that's where you give. Oh, the God of choosy. Great spirits. You are the great spirit. Oh, you are the great spirit. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. God of choosing, you are the pillar that holds my life. Blessed Jesus, you are the pillar that hosts our life. You are the pillar. You are the mightier than all. You are the pillar. My love, blessed Jesus, you are the pillar that was my love. In Jesus' name we worship. Our most righteous Father, we thank you. We we'll return all the glory to you for counting us worthy to be alive in the land of the living. That we thank you on behalf of my daddy Joe and his family. We thank you on behalf of the chosen worldwide. We thank you for what you're about to do in today's service. We say, let your name, and your name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Immortal Redeemer will commit this gathering into your hands. We pray that come and take preeminence. Deliver us today so that I have a cause to glorify your name in Jesus' name. We'll cover our spiritual and body blood of Jesus. I will pray that you use our daddy you mightly today in Jesus' name. 
Amen. If you're happy, I want you to do something for Jesus. Please, we are expected to come close. We are expected to come close. Please, if you have testimony to share with us, we are expected to go to my left hand side. Then we interview you, and the opportunity to share your testimony will be given to you. Remember, the testimony belongs to you. Why the glory goes to God of chosen. Praise the Lord. Please, we are expected to sit down. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, oh, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your clap of friend unto the Lord. Hallelujah, you are the mighty God, oh, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, mighty God. Great I am, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, convent and keeping God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, great I am, hallelujah, hallelujah. The mighty battle. Is my Jesus, Amen. The mighty in battle is my Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. Who oh, is my Jesus, Amen. Oh, the mighty in battle. Who oh, is my Jesus? Amen. The mighty in battle is my Jesus. The mighty in battle. Who oh, is my Jesus? Amen. The mighty in battle is my Jesus. The mighty in battle. Worship Amen. Oh, the mighty battle, the mighty battle is my Jesus, amen. The mighty battle is my, oh, the mighty battle, amen. Oh, the mighty battle, Oh, is my Jesus, amen. The mighty battle is my Jesus. You are the mighty God that never fail. Daddy, you are the mighty God. Oh, God, I'm choosing you are the mighty God. Only you, oh, only you are the mighty God. Mighty God, I never fail. That is you are the mighty God, the God of choosing. That is you are the mighty God, only you are mighty God, only you are mighty God. I see God, I never fail, you never fail, Sarah. That is you never fail, Sarah. I think God that never fail. You never fail, Jebezo. I think God that never fail. You never fail, Danelo. I think God that never fail. Now that you are the mighty God, only you are mighty. Only you are mighty God, only you are mighty God, Daddy, you are the mighty God, Daddy, you are the mighty God, Daddy, you are the mighty God, you are the President General, you are the President General, you are the President General, Daddy, you are the mighty God, that never fail, you remain the same God. Oh, never fail, you remain at the same God. Holy Lamb of God, holy Lamb of God. Oh, Daddy, you are the mighty.
mighty God. Only you are mighty. You are the mighty than all. You are the mighty than all. You are the mighty than all. I call you precious daddy. I call you precious daddy. I call you my epa. Let my epa look at you. I think God that never fail. Daddy, you are the mighty God. Oh, you are the mighty God. President General, only you are our helper. Only you are our helper. Only you are our helper. Let my helper look at me. Let my helper look at me. Let my helper deliver me. That you are the mighty God. That you are the mighty God. I am that I am, oh, Lily of Valley, oh, my son, oh, oh, my son, oh, oh, you remain at the same God, oh, you remain at the same God, oh, the God of Sarah, oh, the God of Sarah, oh, the God of Sarah, oh, the God of Daniel. Oh, mighty God, mighty, mighty, mighty God, mighty God, I never fear. Daddy, you are the mighty God. I am that I am, Lily of Valley. Oh, God of deliverance. Oh, God of deliverance. Mighty God, 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 that day you are the mighty God. That day you are the mighty God. My daddy call you precious, my Gio call you precious God. Oh, you are the mighty God. Ancient of this, ancient of this. Oh, ancient of this. Oh, ancient of this. Oh, ancient of this. Oh, daddy, you are the mighty God. Daddy, you are the mighty God. In our families, daddy, you are the mighty God. That never fail. Now that you are the mighty God. You are mighty. Only you are mighty God. 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 Oh, your wonders in choosing. Oh, your wonders in choosing. Oh, we call you a mighty God. Mighty God, 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 mighty God. you are the mighty God. Mighty God that never changes. You are the God that changes no. You are the God that changes nothing. God that chosen you are the God that changes not. I am that I am. You are the God that changes not. That day you are the God. You are the God. Worship me. That day you are the God. You are the God. That day you are the God that changes not. That day, a botchoko na di a member way. That day, a botchoko na di a member way. That day, a botchoko na di a member way. That day, you are the Lord that changes na. That day, you are the Lord that changes na. You are the Lord that changes na. I am what I am. I am what I am. Go on, tell Pharaoh, I am what I am. I am a. Oh, I am what I am. Go on, tell Pharaoh, I am what I am. I am what I am. 
Red and I am what I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, he is what he is. Oh, I am what I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am what I am. Who is Pharaoh to challenge God? In your life, challenging God, who is Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Challenging God in my life. Challenging God in your life. Challenging God. Who is Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Oh, Pharaoh, who are you? 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 Challenging God in my life. 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 Challenging God. Who is Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Pharaoh, Pharaoh, who are you? Pharaoh, Pharaoh, who are you? Pharaoh, Pharaoh, who are you? Don't you know I am a choosing? Don't you know we are 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 a choosing? I say, who is Pharaoh? In Jingo, in my life. In Jingo, in your life. In Jingo, in my life. Oh, who is Pharaoh? Who is Pharaoh? Challenging God. Who is Pharaoh? Challenging God. Who is Pharaoh? Challenging God. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. My weapon of warfare is the blood. The blood of Jesus is the blood. My weapon of warfare is the blood. The blood of Jesus is the blood. Sing and believe. The weapon of warfare is the blood. The blood of Jesus is the blood. Oh, my weapon of warfare is the blood. The blood of Jesus is the blood. My weapon of warfare is the blood. The blood of Jesus is the blood. My weapon of warfare is the blood. The blood of Jesus is the blood. Healing power in the blood of Jesus. Healing power in the blood of Jesus. Deliverance power in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Healing, oh, healing, oh. Healing, oh, healing, oh. Healing, oh, healing, oh. Healing, oh, healing, oh. Oh, in the blood of the. Deliverance power in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Oh, in the blood of Jesus. Oh, in the blood of Jesus. Oh, in the blood of Jesus. Healing power in the blood of Jesus. Healing, oh, healing, oh. Healing, oh, healing, oh, oh, in the blood of Jesus. Deliverance power 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 in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. By the power of the anointing. In Jesus' name. Every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken. By the power in the anointing. In Jesus' name. Every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken by the power in the anointing. In Jesus' name, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken by the power in the anointing. In Jesus' name, every yoke must be broken. Where is the God of my pastor power? 
the God of my pastor power. Where is the God of my pastor power? Deliver me today. Power, deliver me. Power. Where is the power of my pastor? The God of my pastor power. Where is the God of my pastor power? Deliver me. Deliver me. Where is the God of my pastor power? The God of my pastor power. Where is the God of my pastor power? Deliver me. Let the power deliver me. Let the power deliver me. Let the power deliver you. Let the power deliver us. Let the power deliver Nigeria. Let the power deliver Africa. Let the power deliver America. Let the power deliver Europe. Let the power deliver Asia. Let the power deliver Arab world. Let the power deliver Australia. Let the power deliver New Zealand. Let the power deliver you. Let the power deliver me. Let the power deliver us today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Counseling and Deliverance Service. This is the fourth edition in the month of Breakthrough and Possess. And we are still in the year of dominion, victory, blessings, and miracles. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I assure you that as you have come, you will never go the same way you came in Jesus' name. Please have your seats wherever you are. We want to welcome those who are fellowshipping with us for the first time. Wherever you are seated, if today is your first time fellowshipping with the choosing, kindly signify by rising on your feet so that we can welcome you officially and give you the welcome of our general overseer. You are coming for the first time. Oh, wonderful. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Those of you that are standing or sitting in other places, that is not directly facing the altar. Please carry your Bibles, your bags, and all that you came to church with. Come directly opposite the altar. We have seats arranged for you. We reserve those seats specifically for you so that you can see everything clearly and be comfortable. So that when you have any question to ask the ushers, they will, see, they will be around you and very close to you. Praise the Lord. On behalf of our general overseer, the founder and the pastor of the Lord's Chosen Worldwide. We welcome you with love in our hearts. And we assure you that as a continuing fellowship with the Chosen, whatever be your heart desire, as long as it's the will of God, it will be granted to you in Jesus' name. We urge the congregation to please rise as we welcome them with a song prepared for them, which says, O ye people, the Lord's Chosen, the glory of the Lord, come and make Jesus King of Kings, Make Jesus King of Kings. Come and make Jesus Lord of all. Make Jesus Lord of all. Come and make Jesus King of Kings. Make Jesus King of Kings. One to go. O ye people, the Lord choosing the glory of the Lord. Come and make Jesus. King of kings, make Jesus King of kings. Come and make Jesus Lord of all. Make Jesus Lord of all. Come and make Jesus King of kings. Make Jesus King of Kings. Amen. Please be seated. This is the Lost Chosen Charismatic Revival Movement. And since the 21 years existence of the ministry, God has given to our general overseer a threefold vision 
which he has shared with us and we have bought it and we are running with it we want to share with you also that you may buy it and run with it please pay attention vision number one is to bring grassroots revival all over the world in mark chapter 16 verse 15 and he said unto them according to the lord's command go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and in matthew 24 verse 14 and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come in luke chapter 19 verse 10 it says for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost the mind of god is that all men should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth vision number two is the revival of the apostolic christian experiences among the body of christ such as genuine salvation sanctification holy ghost baptism all the fruit of the spirit all the gifts of the spirit evangelism prowess apostolic zeal righteousness commitment love faith unity heavenly mindedness care and diverse manifestations of the holy ghost these shall become the bedrock of your christian faith as you continue with us in jesus name in acts of apostle chapter 2 verse 17 he says and shall come to pass in the last days said god i will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams the spirit of god shall be poured out upon us according to this prophecy of joy ephesians chapter 4 from verse 11 it says and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of christ to be all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of god unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ god has called us to be an instrument to revive the body of christ and bring them to perfection praise the lord first peter chapter 2 verse 9 says but here a chosen generation a rare priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people and it should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light vision number three is the revival of heaven consciousness in the heart of all believers all over the world which we also know as heaven at last for you to be in heaven at the end of your journey on earth matthew 6 33 says but seek you first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you in john chapter 14 from verse 1 he says let not your heart be troubled ye believe in god believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so i would have told you i go to prepare a place for you and if i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and receive you unto myself that where i am there ye may be also in first corinthians chapter 15 verse 19 it says even this life only we have hope in christ we are of all men most miserable no matter what you have come to church to look for first of all seek god and his kingdom after getting it all other things that you seek will be naturally given to you before the emergence of the lost chosen charismatic revival movement many are engrossed only in eating and drinking and pleasures of life satisfying fleshly lusts but now to the glory of god many have become conscious of genuine salvation and are on the way to heaven manifesting the gifts and the fruits of the spirit praise the lord 
the first shall with our mandate. You are there seated, and the God of chosen has visited you, maybe in our previous meetings, retreats, or crusades. Or maybe it is in the just concluded crusade we had at the Navy barracks, the God that changes situation. Or in any other meeting, retreats, or crusades, you have had an encounter with this great God. We want to hear from you. In Psalm 106, 107 verse 2, it says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. If you have been redeemed of the Lord, if you have, been, if you have received divine intervention from God, come and say so. Amen. In Psalm 119 verse 24, it says, Thy testimonies also are my delight, and my counselors. You need to come forward and tell us how you overcame, how God delivered you, how God has used you to do exploits, and how prayer was made for you, and your situation has changed, and now you are singing a new song to the glory of God. Come to my left hand side by the pulpit area, meet the testimony interviewers. You will give them your name and they will bring you forward to share your testimony. Praise the Lord. So if you are just coming in or you are already seated, we are waiting for you at the testimony interview. Stand right away. Praise the Lord. Now to our mandate, God has given us a mandate to recover 10 billion souls. And this is quite huge, you will agree with me. Even though the world population is still within the border of 8 and 8.1 billion, the explanation is that this vision and mission and mandate is from generation to generation. As you have come to join us today, automatically you have become part of this mandate. Can I hear a louder amen? It is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior that all men should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Please pay attention as we share with you our days of fellowship. God has given us the privilege to meet with him on a regular basis so that we can derive strength from fellowshipping with the Lord. On Sundays we meet create awareness and bring about the knowledge of God. 8 a.m. every Sunday we meet whether it's a combined Sunday like this one that is coming, or it's a regular Sunday like first Sunday and the third Sundays. But this Saturday and Sunday is a special one. Praise the Lord. We have once in a year our annual Easter retreat program titled God's Covenant of Peace and Blessings. Coming up Saturday and Sunday. 8 a.m. here in this chain chosen revival ground. And I'm very sure you are planning towards it already, isn't it? All you need to do is to inform all your neighbors. You may have neighbors that have needs. You may have neighbors that are having challenges. Invite them to come with you on Saturday and on Sunday. Praise the Lord. Do you know people Maybe in your neighborhood that have insanity, people that are having problems with blindness, people with um, deafness and dumbness, paralysis, stroke, people that are confined to wheelchair, they are not able to go out because of the problem they are facing. Arrange and bring them here on Saturday and Sunday. And even today, and the God of chosen will surely build them out in Jesus' name. Sunday evening, we usually have house care fellowship. This is the fellowship where brethren gather in the local homes to learn and adopt the love and the care of the early apostle every Sunday evening, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. In case you have not yet joined the house care fellowship, please locate one close to you, maybe through the branch address or through the National House Care Fellowship Office, 
we have access. Praise the Lord. Amen. On Tuesdays is our Tuesday revival hour. This is the time God demonstrates his power to roll away sicknesses, diseases, problems of life and bring about the needed revival to our souls. We have two sessions of fellowship on Tuesdays, morning session 8 a.m. and evening session 5 p.m. So you have opportunity to be in any of them or even both and take advantage of the movement of the power of God. Praise the Lord. Wednesday is the time for newcomers. All those who are joining the Lord's choosing today or recently have a closer fellowship with our general overseer every Wednesday by 5 p.m. at the first auditorium where we also hold the Tuesday services. The auditorium over there is called First Auditorium, 5 p.m. every Wednesday. Come with three special prayer requests and which prayers will be made for you, and then you go home, tear it, and then you don't need to pray on it anymore. The matter is settled. Praise the Lord. I am very sure that whatever be your prayer request, the God of chosen, we make it a, an opportunity for you to testify in Jesus' name. Now, Thursdays like this, is our counseling and deliverance service is a mini crusade this meeting is specially designed to address matters that are beyond our power whatever we have tried to solve on our own we have taken them to here and there but they are not responding as you come with them on thursdays the god of chosen is on hand to bail you out and if you notice people that are just suffering you know many people have problems it's only their cloth that is covering it. If you do not announce to them that there is a place to solve their problem, they may not know. But if you let them know, maybe as you preach in the buses, as you go for money cry, as you go for personal evangelism, you let people know that there is a solution ground here where many problems are taken care of free of charge. You need them to know that it is free of charge here because there are places where you have to pay money to see the man of God. And they pay money for a lot of things. But here, everything in choosing is given to you free of charge. Let them know. I remember one sister came here with a lot of problems in her body. And she thought that she would be charged money because all the places she went, they were charging them money charging them money and nothing was happening no change no difference and the sister was dying the husband was tired but when somebody said they should come to choose him, the wife told the husband who was, his wife that was having a problem he said we don't have any money again so there is no need going the husband said let's get there first even if they are going to charge us money let us get there first and know how much they will charge us since they have been charging them money in many churches. But fortunately, when they go to choosing, nobody charged them anything. And as, a, as they entered, our geo mentioned the case and the problem that have been bedeviling the sister for 12 years was rolled away. And the sister got herself. And she stood here with her husband and gave us testimony terrible problems that their, her body was smelling. The, the, the liver was damaged. The kidney was damaged. The heart was damaged. She was using drugs every hour. Very, very expensive drugs. But when getting to this place, as our GO spotted the case and prayed and released new liver, new kidney, new heart, instantly the sister that was carried up and down, packaged, stood up and started walking and became free. They gave us testimony here. Praise the Lord. So, many people are spending millions of naira 
and even millions and thousands of dollars to get kidney transplant, to get um, heart transplant. I don't know whether they have started doing liver transplant, but one thing is certain here in the Lord's choosing, it is free of charge. And nobody has ever come here with such case and become disappointed. Because on the pulpit of the Lord's choosing, we have revelations that have shown that organs of human body are packed in different, different nylon. And all of them are alive, breathing inside the nylon. Waiting for the command of the man of God. The angels are in every pool in the church. Waiting for Gio to speak. And they will come to the pulpit, carry the organs, and go and be fixing it in the body of the people that are sick. All the people that have problems. They carry the organs from the pulpit and go and be fixing for them. I don't know whether I'm the only one that had the testimony. If you had a testimony, can you raise your hand? Aha, you can see. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the children. So, this place is not like other places that you have had or that you have been to. This is the place where God makes impossibility possible. Praise the Lord. Thursday, 8 a.m., make sure you bring the people that have needs. This coming Saturday is the beginning of the Easter retreat program, God's covenant of peace and blessing. And it will be concluded on Sunday, both days, 8 a.m. Don't miss it. Arrange and plan with everyone in your family to be here, your friends, your relations, your neighbors, even those who cannot transport themselves, arrange transportation for them and let them know that our buses are also located in strategic bus stops to bring them so that they will be encouraged to get ready. Okay. Praise the Lord. Now, I don't want you to misunderstand the statement I made that they are packed here on the pulpit. It is in heaven. Praise the Lord. They are not here on the pulpit physically. It is in heaven they are placed. And when the man of God speaks, the angels of God pick them in splits of seconds and minister it to people. And instantly you see changes in their lives. Don't me to understand me, I'm coming to the pulpit and be looking for organs of human body. No, they are in heaven. Praise the Lord. Shall we clap unto God of the chosen? Amen. Glory to God. So, those who are newcomers, I want you to Please remember that usually on Saturday, we have workers meeting and Bible study. We usually hold it here by 9 a.m. It is a time of impartation, a time of training, a time of instruction in righteousness. So that everyone that comes in here, we know how to serve God and be blessed. Saturday, we usually have it. But this Saturday is our program, God's covenant of peace and blessings. And all the newcomers, please, I'm sure by now you have the newcomers cards in your hand. Fill it appropriately. Give us your name, your address, today's date, the days you are available at home, the time we can meet you, your age and your occupation. And if you have email address, please write it clearly on that card. Praise the Lord. In case you don't want to fill it, you can just tell the protocol brethren to fill it for you. They will be glad to do that. Let's rise up and go to the Lord in prayers. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. For the Lord God, omnipotent, reign Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Let's open our mouth and appreciate the Lord for preserving us, giving us a beautiful weather, air conditioned weather, providing transportation, preserving our soul, fighting our battles, giving us victory, making way for us where there seems to be no way. Let's appreciate Him for all the ways He has intervened in our affairs. Let's bless His name for all the good things and all the favorable things he has done and even the sustainable grace he has given us in the period and the time of trials and temptations bless the name of the lord for manifesting his power his wisdom and his goodness in the crusade we had on saturday at the navy town in the navy barracks bless the name of the lord for all the people that were saved healed delivered liberated set free bless the name of the lord for all the yokes that were broken Bless the name of the Lord for touching the lives of the people. The blind saw, the crippled walk, the deaf and dumb heard and spoke. Bless the name of the Lord for all the miracles, the signs and wonders, the healing and deliverance, the breakthrough that was granted unto us to enter into places such as the barracks for the first time. We bless you, O oh God. We praise you. We magnify you because what you cannot do does not exist. You have shown it by demonstrating your power right in the midst of the military and giving them such testimonies that they will continue to talk about it for many, many years to come. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We magnify your name for calling your servant a general pastor. Thank you for delivering him from every evil work and preserving him everywhere he went. Lord, we look up to heaven. We ask that you let your name alone be glorified forever. Be praised and be exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Bible says, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Bible says, let Satan take advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Whatever the enemy is planning, we are going to cancel it. Whatever power that is following anybody here to prevent them, from going home with their blessings, we're going to cancel that operation. We're going to decree that no weapon formed against the chosen shall prosper. Any tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be shall by condemned. We're going to pray that everyone that is connected to the chosen, all of them shall go home with maximum blessings. Shall we begin to pray now? Immortal and invisible reality, we cancel all the evil plan and program of the enemy. Whatever the devil and the principalities and powers, rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places have planned in their hearts, in their minds against the chosen. We cancel, we nullify, we dismantle, we destroy, and we decree that your presence and power shall compass us about like a shield. Lord, in this place, we shall go home with our blessings. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Any tongue that shall rise against us in judgment is ever condemned. We have the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Our righteousness is of the Lord God Almighty. Father, we pray that you, the one that have ordained, that we should go forth and bear fruit. We will bear fruit and our fruit shall remain. So that whatever we ask the Father in the name of Jesus, it will be granted unto us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'm going to commit our general overseer into the hand of God, the arrowhead of the church, and all his entire family. I'm going to thank God for the calling, the anointing, and appointment upon his life. And pray that God will continue to intervene and speak with him mouth to mouth. We're going to pray that all that he needs to accomplish the threefold vision and the ten billion souls mandate be supplied. We're going to pray that God will service him and maintain him, strengthen him physically and spiritually, empower him and prepare him especially 
for the forthcoming crusade and all the other meetings that is lined up for the year. We're going to pray that even the years ahead, the Lord will strengthen him with mind by his spirit in the inner man. No area of his life shall be left untouched and uncovered. Everywhere shall be covered by the power of God. We're going to pray that all the places he will go within and outside Nigeria, the Lord will go ahead of him with a drawn sword, breaking the gates of brass and cutting the bars of iron in sunder and giving him all the treasures of hidden places. We're going to pray that every grace that he needs to accomplish the threefold vision and the ten billion souls mandate and take every soul to heaven, let it be supplied unto him abundantly. Shall we begin to pray now? Precious Father, we thank you. We worship you, we magnify you. We praise your power, we exalt your majesty. Thank you for choosing our pastor. Thank you for the anointing, thank you for the calling. Thank you for the unction of trance and boldness. We look up to heaven, we pray. Come and do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. According to your power that worketh in us, Father, we pray that as you have chosen and ordained him, that he should go forth and bring forth fruit, that his fruit should remain. Lord, I pray that the labor of our pastor shall never be vain. Lord, wherever he goes, you will strengthen him physically and spiritually. Lord, you will maintain and service him and continue to increase him as his days increase, so shall his strength increase. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding shall compass him about like a shield. The Bible says, For that and the Lord will bless the righteous, and with favor you will compass him about as with a shield. Let him continue to bask in the favor of God and man, and continue to walk in favor in the day and in the night. Father, I pray that wherever he goes, the light of your glory will continue to shine ahead of him. And you go ahead of him and break every gate of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Lord, give unto him all the hidden treasures in secret places of the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever it goes, continue to position men and women that will make the work of the ministry easy. In the mighty name of Jesus, preserve and protect all the brothers and sisters and all the members of the family. Let the light of God continue to shine upon him and everyone in the household. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Precious Father, we are grateful to you for the change you have brought upon our lives. Thank you for saving our souls. Thank you for preserving our souls. Thank you for working in us both to will and to do of your good pleasure. Lord, we look up to heaven we pray that you, the one that perfect all that concerns us, come and perfect us. Come and sanctify us. Come and preserve us and make us holy. Make us pure. Make us walk worthy of you unto our pleasing. Being fruitful in every good work and increasing your knowledge in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for your servant, that general overseer, that Lord, in today's ministration and Saturday and Sunday and all the days that is outlined for him, Lord, we pray for fresh anointing, fresh power, fresh grace, much less unction or trance and boldness be released upon him abundantly in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you, the one that have chosen us and brought us together for fellowship, Lord, we shall not go back the same way we came. We shall go fully loaded with all the maximum blessings that have distributed unto all of us in Jesus' name. Father, thank you so much for the weather. Thank you so much for our brethren. Thank you so much for the crusade that was just concluded on Saturday at the Navy Barracks. Thank you for all the people that you have touched, healed, delivered, liberated, and set free. Thank you for all that you are going to do today and in all the meetings ahead of us. Thank you for the preparation. Thank you for the outreach. Thank you for the publicity. Thank you for the evangelism effort. Thank you for all that you are touching in the every move of the chosen people all over the world in Jesus' name. Father, in this nation, we shall continue to enjoy your peace. Lord, anyone that wants to trouble us, you will trouble them. Anyone that wants to disturb our peace, you will disturb them. Father, we pray that we shall continue to go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Mountains and hills shall break forth before us into singing, and the trees of the fish shall clap their hands in Jesus' name. Lord, by your favor, you will preserve our spirit. You will continue to instruct us and teach us in the way that we shall go, and you will guide us with your eyes. Thank you very, very much. We cover this environment with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please have your seats. You are there. You have testimonies of God of chosen. This is the time to rise up. Come to my left hand side by the pulpit area. Meet the testimony interviewers so that 
you will have an opportunity to glorify God. You know, you need to return the glory to God and continue to enjoy the blessings of your miracle. Praise the Lord. On the podium to minister to the congregation is the Lord's Chosen Central Choir. Our national choir is ready to minister to us. Let them minister now. Yes, we be 
your hands unto God of the chosen. Appreciate him for that great ministration. Amen. And in the ministration this morning, they said, there is nothing too hard for God to do. He has the power to set you free. He will break every yoke. He will save every soul. He will answer all your prayers. You will never go the same. Very comprehensive. I'd like you to bow down your heads and pray in this ministration, telling the Lord that whatever yoke you came with, let it be broken today. You are not going back with any yoke. Tell the Lord, if you have no assurance of salvation, tell the Lord to this morning, he should save you and give you the assurance. Today, you will not go with any burden of sin. You will not go with any burden of darkness. Today, there must be liberation for you. Tell the Lord, my Father, we come by the blood of Jesus. We depend on you. We look up to heaven, we pray that you continue to focus our mind on the things above, not on things on the earth. For we are dead and our life is hid with Christ in God. And when Christ our life shall appear, then shall we also appear together with him in glory. Father, we pray that help us to cleanse ourselves from every filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Because you have promised us that you will not leave us nor forsake us. We therefore separate from every unclean thing today. Lord, help us by your power. Sanctify us, purify us, make us pure, make us holy, make us presentable in your presence. Let our garment always be white and let our head lack no ointment. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You are there, you have testimonies of God of choosing. I still remember the testimony of one retired captain that came to us at the Navy barracks. Great flood of disaster, disaster flood in Bayelsa. And under difficult circumstance, they made provision, the, the general made provision for him and for other people to come to attend that crusade in Portacult. Meanwhile, he was carrying Hania for five years. And he was telling the general that this invitation is too late. He's already going for operation tomorrow. So why going for a uh, uh, crusade when he's already going for operation? The general told him, you are the kind of cases that we really need in that crusade. Come and you will never go back the same. Praise the Lord. And eventually, under difficult circumstance, he managed and got to the crusade. And after our pastor prayed and finished ministration, he did not see anything physically happen to the Hania. He thought that nothing happened. So he was going home. Now when he got home, doctor have already told him that that Hania must not touch cold water. But behold, his house is flooded and he has to enter into his house to save some of the things that water may damage and therefore he entered the water and after he entered the water and packed the things out he now remembered that ah doctor said hania must not touch water let him check the hania by the time he checked the hania do you know what happened hania has disappeared That was when he now knew that yes, even though he did not see something with his eyes, something has already happened spiritually. He was glorifying God that the Anya is supposed to go for operation on Monday. The ministration of our GO took care of it on that Sunday. Praise the Lord. He also gave us another testimony that since 1997, he does not sleep as a normal human being because when he sleeps, 
he become insane in the sleep. He will be damaging things when he's sleeping. So they have to tie his hands and tie his legs every night when he sleeps. Since 1997 till 2023. He said they always tie his hands and tie his legs because in the dream he will wake up with his body and he will start damaging television, damaging fridge, damaging everything that is instrument and equipment in the house. He will be damaging them. By the time he now wakes up physically, he will now see that he has damaged everything in the house. From 1997 to 2023, 26 years, he was being tied like animal every night. But when he came to choosing, the God of choosing spotted the case. And as our pastor prayed, that yoke was broken in his life. Amen. So, with our beloved guests and invitees, we launch into the time when we hear the great and mighty things the God of Chosen has done in the midst of the chosen people. I'd like you to receive the testimonies of the Lord by clapping your hands unto Him. Clap your hands unto God of the Chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Testifiers, please go straight to the point. Tell us your name the location where you are coming from, the blessings that God has chosen has poured upon your life, the first testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Glory Christopher. I started this ministry 2007. I thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to testify what this God done for me and my family last Thursday. Mm -hmm. There is one document we have been waiting for for over one, over one month, getting to two months now. We paid for that document. It's for my husband. So the man that was, supposed to, that was taking care of that document gave us one week, less than one week to receive it because we paid for express. So when we came, the man did not, the document was not ready. So at the time, we started disturbing the man because we was, we need that document so urgent. So after everything, he told us that it was error. We asked him how. He said the letter he was read, he make a mistake. So now he needed someone to read that uh, letter for him. So after that, we continue disturbing and pray, sowing seed. Believe God of Jesus. I just told my husband, let's just believe God. So it was on Thursday when I came to the service, when our Jew was praying. He said that you that is looking for a big thing, I give you 24 hours to get it. And he let her change it and say, less than 24 hours. Choosing prayers, Master Jesus. And after that prayer, I looked my time. It was... 29 minutes to two. So to the glory of God, this document came, came to us 12 min five minutes after 12 on Friday. Clap Choosing your hands unto God of Master the Chosen. Jesus. So I just want to appreciate this God for that great miracle that God of Chosen did for us. Amen. I say, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. For our beloved daddy in the Lord, heaven at last, all the choosing worldwide and his family, me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise, Master Jesus. Sister, you said you waited for this document for how long? Over one month. And on Thursday, Gio mentioned the case. Yes. And then that same next day after it, what did Gio say when he mentioned the case? After all his prayer, just concluded prayers. He said that you that's looking for a big thing to receive. He said, I give you 24 hours to receive it. Power. So after that, he changed it and said less than 24 hours. 
Hmm. Choosing press master Jesus. You checked and discovered it, it was less than 24 hours. He said less than 24 hours. And to the glory of God, the document came less than 24 hours. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. You are free to go. Amen. God confirmed the word of his servant. I want to tell you if you have testimonies and you have not yet reached the testimony interviewers, maybe they told you the last time you went there that they are fully booked. Now, you can rush down there at my left hand side by the pulpit area. Tell them you want to share your testimony. All of you that came out when Gio said those who have testimony should come out and you have not shared that testimony, go there now and tell them you want to share. They will give you the opportunity. Praise the Lord. You are waiting to take your testimony. The next testifier. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Isaac Adeshola, and I joined Chosen exactly October 15, I mean August 15, 2010. And then, if you bear with me witness, last week I gave testimony of how God delivered me from the bondage of the evil house. If yes. I may bring a recap, sir. Yes. I uh, according to the word of our GO. I said, I got into that house, I never knew that I've entered bondage, that everything went down. The vehicle continued to bring problems, and the enemy were attacking the finance to the extent I have to sell my television to solve some problem. That things were so difficult for me to go through two years until the God of choosing intervened. So this morning, I came to return all glory to God. After the service last week, and you bear me witness last week that our Jew will pray for favor, that great favor is coming to us so that we say, oh, this is how sweet God is. And then, so to cut the story short, I was in the office yesterday, I just checked my WhatsApp uh, status, and I saw that one of my friends is marking his birthday. I just put a call to him. Hey, Mika, let me just greet you and pray. Let's pray together for this birthday. So that is all I did. I mean, I'm supposed to like, give him a birthday present. The guy just said, send me your account. Ah, hey, hey. I said, ah, send me your account. Well, that was around two in the office. I was saying, okay, God is in your hand. Before I reach home from the office, he has sent the sum of 50000 to my account. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Wow. This tells me that the yoke is broken. The God of choosing has taken over the battle. The battle. And there's no more battle again. Amen. Where I was before, I don't think I ever have the favor. Even no matter how small it is. But things were going down. Mm. Or somebody just called me. I just called him to greet him for the birthday, and he said, send me your, your account. account. And he sent the money. So I came with this little token to appreciate the God of choosing Amen. for his mercy, for his goodness. Clap your hands on the God of the choosing. Thank you, God of choosing, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness and the favor according to the word of our geo. You confirm the word of our servant in our life. Mm. bringing favor and blessing upon us. We ascribe and return our glory to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray for our GO, more strength, more power. All is our desire the Lord Almighty will grant in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All is our desire concerning all the choosing members worldwide. The Lord will fulfill them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray for choosing worldwide by the grace and mercy of God we shall make it to help at last in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I cover the testimony with the blood of Jesus blood Christ. Of Jesus. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. It's only the God of choosing that can change situation. Under normal circumstances, people that are celebrating bad days that used to receive gifts. But when God of choosing comes into the scene, he can reverse situations. He can make the person who is receiving gift to give out gifts. And he gave to our brother because our Geo prayed and said, let favor follow him. Praise the Lord. 
I want you to know that once you are able to connect with this altar and you are a choosing, everything in your life is taken care of. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Juliana Okafor. Formerly living, live at 131 Lawansin Road. But now I live at number 64, Mosebao. Okota here. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to render a song that followed, that back up my testimony. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you live, I confess tomorrow. Because you live, oh, there is God. Because I know it was my future. Because I live, I live in joy. Because you live. Because you live, I face all my challenges, Daddy. Because you live, oh, there is God. Because I know He was my future. I live the deal, I live in joy. Because you live, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brethren are titular too. And on it, you understand my testimony. Shows him praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. I started this ministry from the other side. And now I still a chosen. And I must remain a chosen. Shows him praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've given this testimony for my br the branches in the village. But God said that this is headquarter testimony. It started in this headquarter. And he ended up in this headquarter. Shows him praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. I, Juliana Oka, for standing here this morning to appreciate this very God who have delivered my daughter for seven years epilepsy. Shows him praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. This matter, this epilepsy, that's what I said, it needed to understand the testimony. It happened that this, my daughter, when we came back from, we did 2013, we went to acquire a place for us to get our building. And after we did crusade, we went to my, dad, my husband's village and we requested for that. And it seemed as if that uh, is something that cannot be done. And my, senior, my husband's senior brother was asking my husband, so you don't get money? You don't get money? My husband said, why are you asking? Does it mean that I will not get money to build house? So after that, we thought it was a joke. Then when we came back from that 2013, which I have shared the testimony, on that 2013, my daughter was admitted in loot, and he was in oxygen for five days. He was in coma for five days. After that five days, he, 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 he gained consciousness. And when we came, I thought that, I don't know that at the beginning of the journey. And my daughter started having epilepsy. That if this thing now happened, we must rush her to hospital before she could be able to... They admit her in choosing hospitals several occasions, in many hospitals. At a time, he was, he was impressed then. He was in youth choir. But he could not be able to push up all these things because of that problem. And I take him. I remember one day, he said, Mommy, I am tired of this life. Why not, this, why not me die? I said, you will not die. All I know is the God of chosen. As long as Jesus is alive, you will, you will not die. But you will live to give testimony of your life. Amen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this continue. As I, this thing happened. We visited, we ensured our daddy in the Lord, our G.O. prayed for her two, three consecutive times. And after that prayer, it was seen as if the devil want me to doubt. But when it happened, I would tell the devil, I said, my pastor have prayed. All I know is that my pastor have prayed. Devil, all I know is that my pastor have prayed. So from that 2013, this case 
ended up 2020. Chosen, praise our Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. And before this thing uh, came to pass, it took away everything I have worked for life. I own school at Orile by Alafia Street. Many of you know me. I own school at Ijecha. But this case carried all, all of them and crowned it all. At that 2020, I lost my, Lord, my last daughter. As if that one would not be enough. But I still hold my faith. But look at me here now, standing to testify that that my daughter, whom the devil hold for seven good years, the matter is over. She is free since 2020. And hey. now she has gained admission. Clap your Choosing hands on the God of the chosen. Thank you, Lord. And the, in not gaining admission, she studied men's search. He said, Mommy, because what I suffer in life, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor to others. Hmm. And then when we are talking about who am I? To my daughter to be a doctor, to study doctor in, her, in the university. Where am I going to get the money? But this very God has made it to be possible. Amen. She has gained admission, studying men's search. My last daughter gained admission, studying mass communication. It's only this very God, the God can of do chosen. this. Go praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. I still want to appreciate this very God because. When this thing now was happening, I prayed. And so I prayed. Prayer become my food. Tears become my food. But I hold this God. But the time came after my prayer. God said that you are the problem of your, you are the, the cause of your problem. I said, how am I the cause of my problem? He said, remember that the people that used to give your clothes, and when I know that the only person I used to give my clothing that my, my husband's senior brother, the one that senior my brother that read, I love the wife so much. Anytime I'm traveling, I must get a clothes for her. And I noticed that the minute I got home, this woman will make sure that she took one of my clothes. Then that day happened that he, 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 would, he would take my clothes, I would not call it anything. But when this thing happened to me, I came, I tell my husband, I said, you know this thing that we are passing through all these years? They use our clothes to go to champ, to do something. And for now, you will stop making any calls or giving them information about our life, anything. So from there, we cease to inform them anything. We cease from them. From there, we became an enemy. That even when this, my daughter died 2020, they did not call us on phone. If I get home, they will not even greet. I don't even, I don't, that one is not because I have known. So one of the, the, the women there called me, say, woman, uh, why am I not communicating with uh, each other? I say, people will not understand. This is spiritual matter. And I narrated it to them. They say, okay, no, it's spiritual. To cut it all short. I, will, I have been in the village since uh, August this last year. The last two months, it happened that all of them came for burial, all of them in the family. And this, my husband's brother's wife, called all of them, told them that uh, they should call me, that I accused her of using my clothes to go to Sham. I did, not, I did not go to her, but she was the one that called them, that they should call me, that I say I was accusing her that she used my clothes. So when they invited all of us, all the whole family, and they called me, and I told them that God, the God I serve, cannot lie. Prophet did not tell me. But it was after my prayer, God said that they used my clothes to go to shrine. And I stand in that word. Then my husband's senior brother said that, Ah, Julie, you are right. What you said is truth. I don't look at them. He said that each Joma called him. That was my husband's senior brother, wife. He told them that there was a time they are looking for one rapper. This is uh, Azu. Azu. I bought that fish. I bought it for her. He said that she's looking for one. That her second wife, because the husband married two, took it and went somewhere and did something. So when they called her, they told her that, look at, look at her. But if that, they bring that cloth, that she will not use that cloth. And that's how that all of them knew. They now started begging me. 
They now started confessing. They said that, what are we going to do? Are we going to do inquiry about it? I said, I don't need anybody to tell me. God of chosen have given me the solution. Where am I going to get, do inquiry again? They said, okay, what are we going to do? I said, I'm not doing anything. I have forgiven all of you. But all I know is that my pastor in the village, he prayed. The day he was opening our house, he picked sand on the ground. He made a declaration. He said, anybody in this family, they will use anything that belongs to me as a chosen to do anything that the person will pay with the blood of the first son or the blood of the first daughter. And I stand in that prayer of my pastor. And I'm telling you people today, you people should hear me and hear me well. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. Any of you that use anything that belongs to my children, belong to me, and go to any shrine, you must pay with your first daughter and with your first son. And as my pastor say it, so shall it be. So that's the only answer I gave to them. Hmm. So, I just, they, so they, they pleaded with me. So as I enter house, then my husband, uh, senior brother, wife, he came, he knelt down before me, he was crying, he was crying. He said, Julie, you know you love me. You have been doing everything for me. I don't know what happened. He confessed, he was crying. I said, it's your must stand up. You know I love you as a sister. But for eight good years, seven good years, it makes me to be in wilderness experience. I lost all that I want for life. Conclude it all. I lost my last daughter of 14 good years. He did not call me on phone. I have forgiven you. I hand everything to God. Let the God of chosen be the judge. And let the God of chosen, who have been dedicated me, he has blessed me. He has given me everything that money can be able to buy. Who am I to fight? God has fight my battle. And you are giving me victory. Amen. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to appreciate this very God. That after how many years of wilderness experience, if you get to my husband's place now, our house is one of the best house. Clap your Chosen hands praise the Lord. Amara nigame, nigame ya kobi di muma. Amara nigame ya. Nigame ya kobi di muma, di godo chuzin, amana maru saki bunesia, o kwambi ke guru di bie, o minya ne juma ya, amana nigame kobi di muma, amana nigame, nigame ya kobi di muma. I know you will do it. I know that the godo chuzin will do it. For he is the only God. That answer prayer. He never fell as many that trusted in him. He did not fail my pastor. And that is why he did not fail me. That is the word I used to encourage myself. I said, since I was born, and now I am getting old. And since I became a chosen, he never fell my dad. And he will never fail me. And today, God has never fell me. A borrower, a beggar. I'll become a giver to the glory of God. It's only this God can do that. So I don't know, so I don't know if a new member today, you never, it's all if a new member, be encouraged with my testimony because I was, I see if you never, I see what I prayed, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I love, the, I love this ministry. From this junction, I want to appreciate the name of the Lord over the life of our daddy, whom God have called, and I became a partaker of his mercy. I become a partaker of his blessing. I became a partaker of the deliverance. I don't know how to appreciate this God in his behalf. Mm. I am not qualified to pray for him, but all I pray for him every day is that the anointing to carry on 10 billion souls shall be given unto him. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. And there's one word he told on the other side. He said, as many that will obey his word, he said he will usher us to heaven. He will lead us to heaven. And I stand in that word today. Daddy, by the grace of God, you have been there. But choosing once, we beckon on the glory of God. We beckon on the mercy of God upon your life. That all of us 
on that very day. When we wait with Jesus Christ, all of us will be there to the glory of the, of, to the, glory of the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I cover the testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I love choosing ones. Choosing in first class. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. Mm. It's, good. it's good to endure trials. Seven years of trials, she endured it. She never wavered. She never looked for a solution somewhere else. Even when she was tempted to go and make inquiry and visit a native doctor, she said, no, God of choosing has given me solution. God of choosing has already done it for me. I don't need any other inquiry. I remain a choosing. It is what of note we should overcome it in Jesus' name. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Amen. The next testifier. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, choosing. Hallelujah. My name is Emmanuel. I st My name is Emmanuel. I stay at Jack on the Gate. I joined choosing late last year. Just 2023. I, I have... Um, I've been experiencing a very severe pain within my chest and a very serious cough for the past four years. So I, I attended this uh, Thursday service uh, two weeks ago. When Pastor mentioned the case of chest pain and cough, I, I lay my hand on my chest. I, I believe that that day was my day to, to be healed from that sickness. Though before that time, I was actually, uh, last month, I started feeling, if I cough, I would cough out blood, a very thick blood. I started, I was scared, thinking that was, what's all this, and I don't, I don't believe that it will get to that extent. So when I prayed, after that, the pastor ministered, I, something left me. Something left me. I know something left my body that particular day. I wanted to just wait and see. Is it Thursday? No, two weeks ago, sir. Two weeks ago? Yes, sir. So I, I noticed something left me. So last week I wanted to testify. So let me still check to see if this is real. Today I said, no, let me, because where I came from, they say, okay, let me dig and come real, make So I, I, the translation is when you praise someone for something, they will do more. Yes. So I said, let me come today and testify and for, this, appreciate God. for this wonderful thing. Let's clap There's onto something. him and appreciate him. It's something I know on my own I couldn't do it because um, something like that, when I, make, when I make inquiries, I know it's something very serious because church is not something you can play with. Mm. So I came today to thank God for this wonderful blessing. And, uh, so the four me. years cough, I think you said for four years, Yes, sir. You have been coughing. Yes, sir. And now coughing out blood. It's opportunity to pray for my pastor. Though I've known him for since 2008, when my uncle had been telling me about this choosing. But, you know, young man trying to, so many things, distraction everywhere. So, you know, when you belong to somewhere, no matter how far you run, you will still come back to the place. Amen. So, let me pray for him, um, our Gio. Heaven has last and his family and the whole church. Amen. Who we'll all make heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. I hope you have become stable now. Tell me, speak to the microphone. I'm asking you. I hope you have overcome all the distractions now. Yes, sir. Yes, I have. You have become stable in choosing now. Yes, sir. I will advise you to join the baptismal class so that you will not leave any stone unturned. Yes, sir. You will get every benefit and nutrients that is given to every new chosen. And you will get it in full. So join the baptismal class. Mondays and Wednesdays, they hold their meeting at this um, testimony interviewer stand. So that you can be baptized in water by immersion. And then you will begin to move on. 
and begin to join the workforce of the church. Please, make sure you do this so that nothing will shake you again. Okay, Let's sir. clap onto God and appreciate Thank him. You. Yes, when you are able to acknowledge what is the problem you are facing, you have already overcome it. He said there was distraction everywhere. And he said when you belong to a place, no matter how far you go, you must come back to that place. You belong to the choosing. You don't even need to go anywhere. Just sit down and enjoy the benefits of being a choosing and get to heaven at last in Jesus' name. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I want to render a song. Go ahead and sing. Jesus, may you reign, may you reign, reign forevermore. Yesterday you reign, you reign it in my life. Today come and reign, I reign forevermore. Amen. Amen. By the special grace of God, my name is Sister Christiana Wabuji. By the grace of God, I am evangelist. Amen. Thank you, Lord. By the grace of God, I am happy to be a choosing. Thank you, Father. I live at number nine, Adewusi, Adesami Street, Challenge, Mushi. I want to thank God, our God deliver me for moving objects that lasted many years, more than 40 years. Thank you, Lord. It happened like this. Today, making two weeks that my daddy Jiho mentioned my case about this moving object. This moving object, as I'm eating, I will be hearing the sign of inside my stomach. Uh -uh. That means something to is eating the food as we are eating. And that will be surprising. You do one, two, three, four, five. Ah, I say, okay, this one I'm moving on. Sometimes it will come inside my hand. I will be eating my hand, my leg, or my body. From my body to my down of my leg, my hand. It will go. If I'm eating, we stand one place. We'll be collecting the food. I will be hearing sound. So, on Thursday, two weeks Thursday, my daddy Gio mentioned the case and he said, hold on, hold on, you will see a sign in your body. You will see a sign, angels is working in your body. Yes, and I, I, saw, I saw my stomach divided into two. As my stomach divided into two, they were working. That thing was troubling me that time. He said, angels is working. As my stomach was troubling me, I keep quiet when I'm sitting there at the special burial stand. I keep quiet. Before you know it, before you know it, that thing disappeared. Power. From that day, I did not witness that moving object again. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Over 40 years. So I want to give God the glory. I say thank you, God of my pastor. Amen. I worship you. I say thank you, the heaven and earth. I thank you for everything I've been doing in my life. I say let me come and testify because the greater one is coming. Yes. Which I know. And as I give this one, the greater one will come in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my daddy Jiho. God will protect him. All his heart desires shall be granted unto him in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for his children. Long life and prosperity healing from above. They will become like their father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for the children worldwide all over the world. Father, give us the grace to live right 
and heaven at last will be our portion in Jesus name Amen I pray for my family Father I bring my family as a choosing Amen. let us be a choosing indeed in Jesus Amen. name and every one of us heaven at last in Jesus name Amen thank you I cover my prayer with the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus let's clap unto God and appreciate him wow 40 years affliction, giving a technical knockout on the day of freedom from the hand of our enemies. And that day, people got freedom. Today, <laughs> this word of the Lord will work today. This word of the Lord will cut everything that has been uncuttable for many years. Today, all of them will be caught. If you know anybody that has been having problems that has been there for many years, tell them to run down here now. You can call them on phone. You can send them texts. Tell them it is happening big and large in the Lost Chosen Revival Ground. They should bring that problem that has been with them for many years so that the sword of the Lord will clear it from their lives. Amen. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Lovett Abo, and I live at number 20, Olayanka Balogun Street, Bokno. My, my fellowship has a unique branch. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to thank God for granting me financial favor. Thank you, Lord. It happened that um, last two weeks, our pastor called for, our branch coordinator called for, for pledge for us to sponsor people that, for bus, people that will come for this Easter retreat program. So he told us to come out and sponsor that whatever you give is also a way of sowing seed for this program and that God of Jesus is going to bless us. So I do not have much, but because of the way he talked to us and encouraged us, I came out and I saw a seed of 5,000. Chosen, hmm. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then last week Sunday, he, was, he also called us to come and pledge for the zinc of our church that we need to, you know, do one or two touches in the church that we should come out and pledge. I don't have much, but, you know, after some time, I came out, I said, I must do something. And I gave 2,000 naira. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, to my greatest surprise, yesterday I was somewhere, I was in, in a meeting. And God favored me with a sum of 130,000. Power. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. In fact, when I saw the alert, I was, just, I was just shedding tears of joy. I was so happy. I started thanking God, even though I was not in the midst of choosing people. I was just thanking the God of chosen. I said, this is your handwork. I've come to return all glory unto him. I say, him who have done this for me, may his name be highly exalted forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. I also want to thank God for his goodness and mercies upon me and my family, how he has been blessing us, my children, my husband, keeping us from the hands of the enemy, providing our daily bread, providing our, our everything we need. I say, may his name be highly exalted forever in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. I pray for my general pastor for heaven at last. And all the choosing members, heaven and last, in Jesus' name. Amen. I call my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of in Jesus. Jesus name. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Amen. Before taking second to the last testifier, let me quickly run through this announcement. This is to remind all the intercessor leaders and the assistants. There will be an important meeting today, being Thursday, 28th of March, 2024, at the intercessor come by 8 p.m. This is also to remind all the intercessors who are currently in the church service to go to the intercessor camp immediately after service today. Security department will be having their vigil tonight. At the testimony stand, new site, new members are welcome. Time is 10 p.m. till dawn. Signed, Brother Commodore RSAAZ, National CSO. 
Our beloved pregnant sisters, come and register for your antenatal clinic at the Lost Chosen Mission Hospital. We have clinic every Tuesday and Thursday of the week. We have pastors who will pray for you, doctors and nurses. We also give you health talk concerning your pregnancy. We have laboratory and scan services that is signed from the chosen hospital, Metron. Special intercessors will be having a day program immediately after the service at Hall 100, first act end, from the coordinator. There will be vigil of all the welfare department comprising prison, orphanage, hotel, hospital, widow and widower ministry today at the welfare camp by 10 p.m. All chair department members are to be in church tomorrow, 7 a.m. for general work in readiness for the Easter program on 30 and 31st. This to remind all ushers of their vigil tonight at their usual venue, including those in autonomous, they are to attend as crucial things will be discussed. Time is 9 p.m. prompt shall be allowed during the crusade. Please meet the crusade business committee at the monitoring department office to obtain approval and necessary guidelines. This to remind all the branch follow-up leaders and their team members of the vigil Tonight, 11 p.m. at the car park beside the first auditorium. Prayer is a spiritual activator to do the work of God effectively and faithfully. New members are welcome from follow-up coordinator. All evangelists that are worshiping in the headquarters church will have their vigil on Tuesday, 10 p.m. at the evangelist camp. And all the leaders, workers, and members are expected to join hands. The evangelists for our forthcoming program titled God's Covenant of Peace and blessing publicity today, Thursday, immediately after service, and tomorrow by 9 a.m. Meeting for over five months plus, I've not been seen my period ever since then. I've been coming to church, putting it in prayer, always coming to front of church, putting it in prayer. So, last week, when that Jesus was praying, I was sitting at that end. So, that is just said, <clears throat> that is just said, he that have not been seeing your period, I give it to him four hours to see your period. And for God to confirm my words, he's going to give you a sign. She's in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, reaching starts today, she's in praise the Lord. My period came out. She's in praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. At this junction, I pray for my daddy Gio, heaven at last, more grace to fulfill the 10 belongs to mandate, him and his family, heaven at last. The choosing word by heaven at last. I am my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Congratulations. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The last testifier for today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ozioma Ajebu. I worship with Okota One Branch and I live at Ago Palace Way. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God on behalf of my son. My son was diagnosed of glaucoma last year. So that day, after they went for the checkup, the doctor was like, there was so much pressure on the eyes of my son. Now it was more than 30, 30% or something. That's how they, they put in the figures. So because he started complaining of bad sight, he couldn't see the board. He said his eyes is paining him and so many complaints. So after the checkup, they diagnosed him of um, glaucoma that there was pressure behind the eyes. So on that day, it was a Tuesday, came to a service day, Okota one, and when I came to church that day, it was Pastor Joshua that ministered. So afterwards, our pastor announced that those that want to see the pastor can as well come. So I went in with my children to see the pastor. So when I went there, Pastor Joshua prayed for him and counseled the matter. Amen. So later... He kept on using um, his glasses and some eye drops. Then the doctor actually recommended surgery on both eyes. So when they recommended the surgery, we said to ask people what the options of the surgery could be like. 
So people were like, we should wait. I still a child should wait for like 10 years so that there'll be a little bit of advancement in technology. So, but after a while, I told my husband, let's just believe God for this healing. I'm not kind of very comfortable with him operating the both eyes of a young child. So there is this savings that my children usually have. When you give them money, they would actually keep it. So they used to tell themselves, I have so so amount, I have so so amount. So one of the days I told my son, why not take all your money and so tell God to heal you? So my son took all his money that day and he sowed a seed. Mm. After a while, we went back for checkup. That was last year. And lo and behold, the pressure reduced drastically. There was no more pressure behind the eyes. Choosing Clap praise your hands the Lord. To God of the choosing. God of choosing, roll away the glaucoma. Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. So the doctor counseled the surgery and said we no longer need any surgery for his eyes. Clap so your hands God to God of the son. choosing. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then if he's not using his glasses, he'll be complaining. But now, even when he doesn't use the glasses, there's no much complaint again. But I really want to thank the God of the choosing that counseled the surgery for my son. Amen. I give him all the glory. I give him all the honor. Thank I give him Lord. all adoration, thank praises, and thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our general pastor. I pray that the Lord will continually be with him. Amen. The Lord will increase him from grace to grace, even Amen. our pastor, Pastor Joshua. That the Lord will make him like father, like son. The Lord will honor every word he says Amen. according to his will in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. <laughs> clap your hands unto God of the choosing. The God of choosing is so great. Yes. He's so, he's so beautiful to depend on God. Look at his small child sowing a seed. And God honored it. And as the pastor prayed, God canceled the glaucoma that could have brought surgery on both eyes. We are in a place of power. I want to assure you that today, nothing that has been troubling you will escape from the sword of the Lord today. I'd like you to bow down your heads now, close your eyes, begin to appreciate God for all the testimonies we have had, and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Thank you, Father. Lord, we appreciate you. Begin to pray. Tell the Lord that today, the Lord shall pour more grace, more strength, more power. Power. We praise you for a day like this. We thank you because it is written, Unto thee shall the gathering of the people be. Our Father, as we come before you now, or we are asking you, righteous God, speak to the heart of each and every one of us and give us grace to understand your word and help us to be doers of your word and not hearers of your word alone. I pray as we listen to you, guide us by the power of your word, so that at the end, each and every one of us shall be subject to your divine guidance. And Lord, I pray that as many who shall listen to this message shall begin to do your will on a regular basis in Jesus' name. As I speak your word, let the Holy Ghost take over. Begin to work on everyone. Begin to revive everyone. Begin to bless everyone. Thank you for answering my prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. I want you to turn your Bible to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 25. Proverbs chapter 16. Let's read. We'll read verse 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. John chapter 8, verse 12. John chapter 8, verse 12. 
Then speak Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but I have the light of life. Many people who think that they are wise in this present world have missed their ways because in their wisdom they have forsaken the Lord the embodiment of wisdom if you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 1 1 Corinthians we we'll read from verse 19 chapter 1 from verse 19 for it is written I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputers of this world? Had not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. I want you to understand that the Lord is asking a question. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputers of this world? Where are those that claim they have knowledge? Even in their knowledge, they do not know God. And that's why God has decided to use the foolishness of preaching to save the people, even in their wisdom. So, those whose wisdom had made them to do what they like and isolate the word of God are heading to danger in this world. Everyone should know that when we forsake the counsel of God, the ways of the Lord, the will of God, there will be trouble in the life of such person. If you have abandoned the word of God, the guidance and teaching of the Lord, that person is heading to trouble. If you look at the book of Hosea chapter 4, Hosea chapter 4, I read verse 6. Chapter 4, I'm reading verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou had forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. The point is, my people are destroyed for what? lack of knowledge because they have forgotten the law of God. Whosoever that does not know the word of God is totally blind. And whosoever that is not guided by the word of God, that person is heading into the pit, into a terrible dish. I want to take note and such person does not know where he or she is going. If somebody is not guided by the word of God, he doesn't know his or her destination. But such person is heading into destruction. I want you to understand also that not only that is the Almighty, is the creator of all things. Is the creator of things visible and invisible. Whatever you are seeing today, God is the creator. And therefore, we must not isolate him. Never you walk in your wisdom. Man's wisdom is a limited one. Don't walk in the way of the people of the world. Their ways are the ways of destruction. Our God sees in secret and in open. There is nothing that is hidden before him at all, at all. He knows you. He knows your thoughts. He knows what you have done. Last night, he knows where you are sleeping. He knows where you are, when you are created. He knows everything you have done from the beginning of the world till today. And since the day you are created till today, he knows everything about you. If you're hypocrite, he knows you. If you are born again, he knows you. If you are not born again and you are pretending, he knows you. If you're a wicked person and you cover us up, he knows you. Everything about you. Whatever you have said in the open or secret, whatever you have said against another human being, your plan, your intention, your purposes in this life, he knows everything complete. There is nothing hidden before him at all, at all. Nobody should isolate him at all. Please, 
I beg you in the name of the Lord. Never you isolate him. He is your life. He is your strength. He is your protection. He is your glory. He is your blessings. Don't isolate him at all, at all. If you isolate him and choose to go on your way, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end of that way is what? Death. So, his counsel to all, to all of us, is to follow him. I want to let you know, if you will follow the will of God in your life, you will never regret it. If you will follow the counsel of the Lord in your life, you will never make a mistake. If you will pray in your life to be guided by him, honestly, you will never fall into the pit. All I want you to understand, we must follow him. We must inquire from him. We must pray always so that we'll be guided by him. He said, I am the light of the world. He that followed me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So, he knows the best for you, and that's why he brought you here. And if God has brought you here, my friends, open your ears and hear from him and live your life according to his will, and it shall be well with you. Remember, the Bible said in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 3. Please open your Bible. He said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Why? Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The question is, why? In Romans, chapter 3, verse 23, the answer, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And I want to let you know, no sinner in that condition that will enter the kingdom of God. Because the Bible said in Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 4, the soul that sinned, it shall die. And if you are dead spiritually, you have no connection to the kingdom of God. The only way you can be free again is that you must be born again. Now, my sisters and brothers who are here, if you look at the book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, he said, please look at your Bible. Let's read it. Some people, they claim to be Christians, but they're not Christians. They're still living in sin. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 8. He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God, does not commit sin, for he still remains in him, and he cannot sin, because he's born of God. If you look at that place, it, a Christian is not a sinner, and a sinner is not a Christian. And if you are living in sin and claiming to be a Christian, you are deceiving yourself. And if you are there asking, what is sin? Look at First John chapter 5, verse 17. The Bible said, all unrighteousness is sin. Anything that is not righteousness is what? Sin. Now, let's see the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we read from verse 9. And the Bible said, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9, it reads, Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of the same with the mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. If you are living this kind of life and you are claiming to be a Christian, you are deceiving yourself. In Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, Revelation 21. Reading verse 8. All that live this kind of life, such people shall not inherit the kingdom of God. They shall be cast into hell fire. Revelation 21 verse 8. And it reads, But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers, immoral people, and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which born with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. All such people 
they shall be cast into hell fire. You need to search your life. The Bible said, all unrighteousness is sin. Now, it could be unforgiveness. It could be hatred. Hatred is sin. Unforgiveness is sin. Selfishness is sin. Anger is sin. Pride is sin. Bitterness. Keeping malice. Bearing grudge. All these are terrible sin. I want you to understand that lusting after evil things, covetousness, all these are terrible sin. Hatred, envy, speaking evil of other people, all these are terrible sin. You need to search your life, false witnesses. These are terrible sin. Amend your ways, and it shall be well with you. I don't know the evil you are into. Are you among those that are into backbiting, into murmuring, into disobedience and stubbornness and fighting and quarreling? You must repent to that and say, Lord, I am sorry. Are you among those that are cursing people and swearing with heaven and earth or worshiping I do or making I do or having I do in your heart? These are terrible sin. Are you among those that patronize the native doctors? Are you a native doctor? That's wickedness. Are you into secret court or open court or marine court or witchcraft court? Any kind of court, campus court, any kind of court. Renounce them today. Gather their property and bond them. International court, local court, village court, secret or open court. Gather their property and burn them. Gather the whole charms. Burn them and give your life to Jesus Christ. Did you hear me? They have no power. Satan has no power. I don't know the evil you are into. Amend their ways and it shall be way with you. Do you know all these people that are stealing and picking pocket and in one chance? And all these people that are into robbery. These are wickedness before God. These people that, you know, steal from their uh, company, from their, you know, from their husband, from their wife, and, you know, that thieves, big pocketers, you must repent to them and say, Lord, I am sorry. Whether you break home or people to collect their property, whether you are into one chance group or arm robbery group, repent to them. Are you into 419? You do black people or white people? Or you do the government? My friend, repent to them and say, Lord, I am sorry. And return the money, if you are still having the money, back to the owner. Please, we don't want the money in this church. Don't give us money you have stolen. Money you are defrauded from people. Don't bring it here or from the government. We don't need it at all, at all. Amend your ways. And it shall be well with you. I don't know the wickedness you are into. All these people are involved into masturbation. You masturbate your body. That's wickedness. Or fornication, or adultery, or homosexual, lesbianism. Stop it. That is wickedness. That is evil. Renounce them today and promise God no more. The Lord will show you your mercy. And if you're among those that are into you know, uh, prostitution, you save your body for money whether private or public prostitution. That's wickedness. Repent today and renounce it. God will show you mercy. Are you a murderer? Do you commit abortion? Do you aid abortion? That's evil. You must not commit abortion. You must not kill. No murderer has inheritance in the kingdom of God. If you ever committed abortion, you have ever encouraged people, you have ever done such evil, stop it today and say, Lord, I am sorry. Message I've shown to you. Are you hearing me? I don't know the wickedness. Are you a murderer? Are you a hired a, a, you know, a, a assassin? Those people who keep people. Are you into kidnapping? These are wickedness against God, against humanity. Please, if you are into such thing, we don't need your money here. I mean, you are ways. The Lord will show you mercy. I don't know the wickedness you are into. All these people that take a bribe and um, give bribe and they stop money from people because of their position, because of their uniform. You must stop it. And promise God no more. Are you into smuggling? I mean, you are 
ways. Are you fighting? Beating your wife and fighting people? Please repent today and say, Lord, no more. The Lord will show your mercy. I don't know the wickedness, the unrighteousness, the evil which you are practicing in secret or open in your heart. One thing that is very certain, God knows you. He knows your heart. He knows your evil. Whatever you are doing, whatever you are planning, whatever in your heart, God knows them. And he will judge you. And if God is going to judge you, what are you hiding? The Bible said, hands join hands together. The wicked must not go unpunished. And the Bible said, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. For our God is a consuming fire. You may escape human beings and deceive human beings. But God knows you and is the one that will judge you. Why are you covering up? Are you involved in taking cigarettes, smoking cigarettes, taking in their hemp, cocaine, heroin, and you're buying it for people? And that is your business. And they, you know, that is your pleasure. Smoking cigarettes, taking in their hemp, cocaine, heroin. These are wickedness. Stop it. And please don't bring the money of cocaine here. We don't need it. Or tobacco. I mean, you are. Wait. The Lord will show you mercy. I don't know the wickedness you are into, but now is the acceptable time. There is no repentance in the grave. After rapture, you may not have opportunity. Repent now. And if you're a distributor of tobacco, please don't distribute it again. As a child of God, if you are selling it, don't sell it again. And if you are there taking alcoholic drinks, 1% or half percent, you don't need to touch it again. You don't touch poison and say, let me take half percent of poison. Your heart is the temple of God. And the Bible said, if any man destroy that temple, God will destroy that man. Imagine where God decided to waste you. Who can remedy you? Who can save you? So, are you taking alcoholic drinks? Whether white mimbo or brukutu. I don't know the name they call it. I had one of the names. I was laughing. They said that one is aporachia. I don't know what is aporachia. How do they? That is means if you put it in the mouth, you just laugh. You don't need it at all, at all. There is a way that cement right on the man. But the end of that way is the way of what? Destruction. You don't need them. I don't know what they call them. But whichever name, whether they be up Russia or Loyola or Arabanko, you don't need them at all, at all. I mean their ways. And it shall be well with you. Are you hearing me? The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Don't sell it. Don't buy it. Don't even be a distributor. Don't ever buy it for somebody. Even don't keep, keep friendship to those who are smokers and drunkards. They will lead you astray. I mean, you are ways. I don't know the wickedness you are into. All these people that marry and divorce, it is evil. All these people that are into polygamous marriage, it is wickedness. Marriage is between a man and a woman. And until the dead, do your part. And in fact, from the beginning, God created a man and a woman. And that is the institution, the ordination of God. And if you have seen the way your first wife for any reason, you have no excuse. You are going to be judged. And in order to escape the judgment of God, bring your wife back. Settle with her. If because she has no child, bring her here. God will give her a child. And if you are there, you have left your husband and say he's a thief, he's a criminal, he's a wicked person. He beats you. Please go back to your husband and bring your husband here. As the word of God goes on, your husband will repent. And if you're a second wife or a third wife or fourth wife, you are just a thief. And no thief can enter heaven. Pack your load and leave that place. Look for your own husband, God will bless you. And if you're a man that married them three or four, and then when they ask you, where is your wife? Say, look at them. The person is asking you about a wife. You say, look at them. You see, these are wearing uniform. Wife number one, wife number two, wife number three, 
wife number four, and you make a uniform for them, and you think that you have arrived, you are gathering a lot of firewood that will burn you from eternity to eternity. It will start burning you here. Because whenever there is two men in the house, the man will lose peace. Am I right? When two women are in the house, and then there will be trouble, three of us, ah, if, if that man laughs with the other one, there will be trouble. The other one will say, it's like, you, ha- you hated me. Therefore, don't make mistake of two women at all, at all. It is one man, one wife. Until the dead do your part. Marriage ends as dead. If you look at Matthew chapter 19, from verse 4. Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that which made them at the beginning, made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they twin shall be one flesh. And look at verse 6. Wherefore, they are no more twin but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You see, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Have you left your wife? Bring her back. Your first wife. And remove the second one. Have you left your husband? You must return back to your husband. And don't ever venture to marry a man that has already married. If you're a spinster, don't make that mistake. That will bring internal destruction. I mean, you are ways. If somebody has married and is living with their wife, and then you want to go there to live again, do you want to die? Don't make that mistake at all, at all. Now, if you are there and you are among those people that what you do, you bleach your body and become yellow overnight, whether you're a man or a woman, that is counterfeit, that is evil. And if you're among those people that paint your hands and paint your leg and paint your mouth and paint your eyes, it is abomination. And you put extra finger and extra eyes and extra mouth and extra teeth. In order to be beautiful, it is evil. You don't need them at all, at all. It is a mark of being spoiled. And if you're there, you put attachment and weave on and palm in, painting, earrings, jewelry, bango. Or you dress to show your nakedness, your chest, your armpit, your tummy. You don't need it at all, at all. Cover your body properly well. And the Lord will bless you. Remove the attachment and weave on and palm in. It is the attires of the prostitute. You don't need them at all. If you're a young man and you put jelly coil, rough hair, scattered hair, and plait your hair like a woman, it's a sign that you're possessed with evil spirit. You don't need it at all, at all. And you put earrings, and then you wear rings and jewelry. What are you doing with those things? And if a woman wearing trousers, dressing like a man, that's wickedness. Or you're a man wearing skirt and blouse. These are evil before God. Born those dresses and mend their ways. In fact, the Bible said in Deuteronomy 22 verse 5, a woman should not wear that which pertains to a man, and a man should not wear that which pertains to a woman. All that do so are abomination to God. And then in Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 30, the Bible said when they are spoiled, what shall they do? Whenever a woman has spoiled, the next minute, he will repent him out. And, paint, and the husband said, I don't like this we are painting. He will repent him out and paint hand. I'm even put the extra finger. Because of what that woman has spoiled. They will begin to paint. They will begin to make up. As if they make up, they make them to be better than how God made them. But the Bible said in Psalm 139 verse 14, that God has fearfully and wonderfully made you. And marvelous are the work of God. What are you going to add that will be better than how God has made you? You don't need makeup at all, at all. I mean, there are ways. The Lord will bless you. Cover your nakedness. The Lord will bless you. Teach your children to do so. The Lord will bless you. You don't need this makeup. It will make you useless. It will make you to be afflicted and tormented by the devil. 
amend their ways. My father will bless you. And by the grace of God, as I mean, their ways that begin to live right, you will be on your way to heaven. Remember, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. That your way you think is best will lead you toward destruction. Amen. As you amen, you will see that good things will begin to come to your, pass your life in Jesus' name. If you look at the book of Exodus chapter 12, verse 13, it says, When I see the blood, I will pass over you. If you will repent to that and say, Lord, I'm sorry, God will see the mark of the blood of Jesus in you. Of course, you know, the blood that is being talked about is that of the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the everlasting covenant, which in John chapter 1, verse 29, John said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the whole world. And Jesus said in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And Jesus said in John chapter 19, verse 30, when he shed the blood, he said, It is finished. The end of all sacrifices for sin. And if you look at the Bible in John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Why? Because only through his blood that we can be saved. There is no other blood that can wash away your ass. That's what he said in John chapter 10, verse 10b. I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. If you will receive Jesus today, eternal life shall be given to you. Freedom from sin, freedom from Satan, slavery. As the Bible said in John chapter 8, verse 36, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. If you are ready for salvation of your soul today, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11, 28, Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If you will come and repent and promise God all this evil, you will do them no more. Message of vision to you. Don't forget. In John chapter 1 verse 12, please open your Bible. John chapter 1 verse 12, verse 12. But as many as receive him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. If you will receive Jesus today, power of sonship, power of transformation, power of newness of life, that power shall be given to you. Remember, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, he said, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. Salvation is only through Jesus Christ. I want to plead with you. Make up your mind. Repent of your sins and promise God no more. And surrender your life to Jesus Christ today. And then live your life in him according to his will, according to his counsel. And do not live your life like the people of the world or walk with your mind. Look up unto heaven. Let God lead you. Let Jesus be your light. Let him be your way. As you walk through his teachings and guidance, I'm assuring you, you will never make mistakes in life. And at the end of this life, you will make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Remember, in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, he said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Such your life, I mean your ways, I be sorry for your past life. Eyes closed everywhere. Eyes closed and head bowed. Ask God to show you mercy and all this evil, you will do them no more. And you must walk in the counsel of the Lord. Don't walk in your own way. There is a way that seemed right unto a man. But the end of that way is there. Man is limited, but your God is limitless. Our God is almighty, is all-knowing, is all-powerful. Everybody pray, everybody pray. Everybody pray. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, 
But the end of that way is death and destruction. Destruction in this world and death internally. I mean their ways, I mean their ways. Call upon the Lord, seek the face of God. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. I wanted to sing this song before I pray. I surrender. I surrender. All to Jesus. Bless the I surrender. I surrender. Again, I surrender. I surrender. I surrender all, all to Jesus. Bless the Savior. I surrender. I Sorry. Oh yeah, keep your hands up and pray. The merciful, the compassionate, the righteous that did. Whatever these ones may have done, known and unknown to them, as they repent today, that day I come in the name of Jesus. In your Lord, remember mercy. Every yoke of power that makes them to do evil by your authority, I pray that yoke in Jesus' name. Yoke of prostitution, yoke of robbery, yoke of masturbation, yoke of uh, uh, careless life, every yoke of unrighteousness, I command you, be broken in Jesus' name. That if from this I claim their spirit, their soul, their body for Jesus. Lord, I pray, cancel their name in the book of death, write their name in the book of life, give them power to sin no more in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Can I hear you say amen? As we still bow down our heads, meditating upon the message we have heard, we will continue in prayer for our pastor, asking the Lord to strengthen him physically and spiritually. We ask the Lord to increase him in every area of good works. We ask the Lord to multiply his grace and an anointing, unction, utterance, boldness upon him. We ask the Lord to reveal all our matters unto him. Today the Lord will bless you and bless you and grant the heart desires in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for every one of you who have been having hindrances, oppositions, barriers, 
and whatsoever you are doing that is according to the will of God, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, receive your freedom. Anything hindering you from making it in life, anything that is saying, come and make it, let me see. In the name of Jesus, receive victory. And you that is, in fact, you have been tormented by marine spirits. And they have messed you up even in dreams. Messed you up. And you have been wondering what and who will deliver you from this evil. And whenever that thing happens in the physical, you can't record any progress. Now, Today is the end of that evil. Now, wherever you are right now, the Lord is beginning with you. To deliver you now, now, now. And from this day, you will never see that evil again. Holy Ghost, oh yeah, begin with the person I'm talking about. He is not just one person involved, I can see a number of people, they mess you up to stop you, they mess you up to hinder favor, progress in life. Now receive deliverance. Lose, 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 lose. Rakarazu, Vikahulia. Yes, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Left, right, front. Wherever you are, whatever be the assignment in your life, whatsoever they are doing today, I cut them off. Marine spirit, spirit husband, spirit husband. Oh, yeah. Come out of that lady, wiggly. 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 That young, that young woman that is coming for the first time, receive your deliverance now. From spirit husband, spirit husband, I command freedom for you, deliverance for you, wiggly. I break the yoke, all those things they projected in your body because of being messed up, attack in the night. All those moving objects, eternal hotness of the body, all those, let them come out now. Come out, catch fire, come out. Holy Ghost, you spirit wife, Spirit wife, I torment you by fire. All these young men, you are messing up, working against their progress. In the name of Jesus, I command deliverance. Stubborn spirit wife, spirit husband, oh yeah, come out quickly. Yes, quickly. I do not permit you in their body anymore. I do not permit you in their life anymore. All your, all your baggages, everything they are using to operate in their life, I bind that power. I command to come out now. Come out now. Your man received deliverance for split wife, terrible split wife. I lose you. I say to you free. I lose it. I say to you free. Spirit husband, cash fire. Spirit husband, cash fire. Yes, 
da yoma today is the end of spirit why attacking you <laughs> everything that have done spirit of hatred poverty backwardness catch fire catch fire all those things that are projected all those things that are brought upon you those demons I bind them in the name of Jesus. I bind their power. I cast them out in Jesus' name. Out. Oh yeah, out. Quickly. 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 I torment that sweet like fire. Holy Ghost 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 fire. Out. You have no right over that person I'm talking about. You have no right over every one of them. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. I bind your power. I cast that means in Jesus' name. Yes, that person you are receiving your deliverance now, now, now. The person that is also that, that is possessed with spirit of untimely death and bringing evil dreams bringing dead dead people terrible dream untimely death and you are having that thought every time spirit of untimely death catch fire come out in Jesus name don't enter anybody Lord deliver that person the caparus detain. Let's get the little caparus in Jenny Compray. Let's get the little caparus here. Wherever that projection is coming, any kingdom that is after your life to destroy you, in the name of Jesus, I destroy that kingdom. <laughs> Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Spirit of untimely death. Come out. But only speed. I want to enter, but only speed. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Spirit of course. Generational course. And nothing, nothing is working for you and your family. I pray that cause. Rising and falling, I pray that cause. Spirit of untimely death, I torment you by fire. I torment you by fire. Holy Ghost. How long will that cause rest upon somebody? Cause you can decide to be free now. Yes, yes. Today is the day of freedom for you. In the name of Jesus, I bind spirit of cause. You that have submitted your name. Your father submitted your name to an occult kingdom and died. Now you are the one suffering because you don't want to belong to anything evil. Your father submitted your name to replace him. But here you are today, you don't want to have anything to do with that occult kingdom. Now, I break the yoke. <laughs> Holy Ghost, deliver the person I'm talking about. Whatsoever they have said or done against your name, against your push up by that occult kingdom, I nullify by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> I command your soul, your spirit. Be loose from that power. 
Let the covenant break, break, break now. Break. I say that man initiated you. As I'm talking now, something is happening in your life now. Lord, finish that deliverance. Finish that deliverance. Lose him, lose him, lose him. I return everything they have done. All enchantment, incantation, delivered projection, back to send that Jesus name. Whoever that is sitting on you, in the name of Jesus, I don't see that person. You that somebody has tied you in the mind, in the heart, and decide that you can never be free. In the name of Jesus, I lose you for that person. Oh yeah, be free, be free. Yes, thorough freedom. Somebody boasting, boasting, I will show you, I will do this, and you took it a joke. You do not know he has taken your name to native doctors. Today, I say those things are blessed. Whatsoever he has done, I cancel it in Jesus' name. And all those sickness and problem he pro projected in you, I command you to come out in Jesus' name. Every one of you, you must be delivered. You must be free. You will never remain in that cause, in that affliction, in that evil thought. You will not remain in that bondage anymore. You must be delivered. Yes, wherever you are, you must be delivered. That is why I'm standing here for you. Oh, yeah, we need to receive a deliverance now. Le Kataya Maraka, Rubokochi Kakaya Maruzia, Les Cantelia Campres de Kondo, Rubokochi Kaperuski Tena, Les Engenia Kataya. I bring the yoke, I bring the yoke, I bring the yoke, I bring that power. Please, please. Holy Ghost, bring them out. Holy Ghost, pardon that deliverance for every one of them. Bring them out. I, I count seven. You must be loosed. Whatever they have done against you, wherever they bound you, whether in the heart, in the shrine, in the astral world, in the river, in the ocean, whatever they use, as a matter of something they used to connect your attack you, you must be loosed. One, please. But show that person I'm talking about a sign. Lose him and bring him out. Lose them. I mean, uh, lose, lose. Two, loose. Three, loose. Four, loose. Whatsoever they have done, honestly today, you will never remain in that problem anymore. Four, loose. Let there be total freedom. Total freedom. Five loose. Any kingdom, any shrine, any river, any ocean, even those that are bound in the heart, in the name of Jesus, I lose you. Cease loose. Le Kataya Maraka, Le Scandu Mika Perusia, Le Zingenia Kataya Maruskite, anywhere they are holding you, 
by the Spirit of God, I move into that place now. By the Holy Ghost, I release you. 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 Please. You must go home with total deliverance. Now, all those forces that have followed you to hinder you here, all those demons that are assigned to attack your miracle, to attack your freedom, to attack your mind, all those demons on assignment from any kingdom, from any shrine, from any temple, Oh yeah, catch fire. Kahuri here. Kahuri here. Kahuri here. Catch fire. Wherever that stand you to hinder miracle of somebody. To hinder miracle to hinder the move of God. I command fire. Say Kayama say Kuya Maru is there. Long let there be fire, 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 fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. All chats, watch out now. All the demons that signed to attack your miracle attack you. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus, I arrest you. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. I bind you up. I cast a beast in Jesus' name. Go, 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 go. Go. I do not permit you to pray here. Whoever, whatever assignment given to you, I paralyze the assignment. Holy Ghost, I request for urgent intervention. Intervention, intervention, intervention. Oh yeah, Holy Ghost, oh yeah, move around, move. Zeluvia, Zeluvia Kahuria, Lezuvia Kataya, Reze Jenny Compre, oh yeah, move around, move. Anything they are holding in their body, anything in their body, let that they catch fire. Fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire. Young man, I set you free. From today, from today, you will know that is God. Anything they have done, I command fire. All those principalities and powers that are here on assignment and attacking the brethren, attacking their miracle. I arrest you. I paralyze the cast of beast in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. That young man inside that place, you know what they are going through. I want you to say this one and have your miracle. Today, I must be free. Today, I, must be free. I will be free. Jesus' name. All just watch out. The person I mention, make mention, now is at all. Now is at all. You have so far the Lord, but today freedom has come your way. 
free God. Holy Ghost, I'm wait. I'm just waiting for you to finish on the case of your man. I'm talking about before I move forward. Oh yeah, take over. Take over. I'm still waiting for the person. I'm still waiting for the person. Take over. Take over. Take over. Holy Ghost deliverance. Holy Ghost deliverance. Holy Ghost deliverance. Spirit of the Lord. I do the work. Do the work and take the glory. 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 All unclean spirits. I bind you, I bind their power. All you marine spirits, I bind you, I bind their power. All you wish spirits, I bind you, I bind their power. All you spirit of backwardness, I bind you, I bind their power. I cast out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Right. Oh, yeah. Pack your load. You must go. Whether you like it or not, today is the day of their freedom. Oh, yeah. Pack, pack, pack. Cease. Go. Enter fire. Enter but not less with. Go. You enemy of righteousness. You occult marine spirit. You witchcraft spirit. You serpentine spirit. You antichrist spirit. I bind you, you serpentine spirit. I bind you. I can service in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Seven out. Enter but on this feet. Enter fire. Enter but on this feet. Go, 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 go. Go. Holy God. I do not permit you in the whole vicinity. I bind you, I bind your power. I cast it over only speed in Jesus. Name. My daddy, touch my people. Deliver my people. Heal my people. Find the battle. Make a way where there's no way for them in Jesus. Name. That person with stomach pain, I cancel it, be healed. The one that's having terrible stress, I command to disappear from you. That high BP be healed. That terrible high near, I command to disappear in Jesus' name. You that people are accusing you for what they did not do, I pray that from today, God will vindicate you. And I pray that delay a marriage, I bleed the yoke. The SS be turned to AA in Jesus' name. The West Bank be healed in Jesus' name. And I pray for you that wherever you are walking and the turn against you, the one to remove you, I pray for victory for you. That it bless my people. Fight their battle. I pray that the ways of this place be open. Bless the best financially in Jesus' name. I come and take over as I speak. Bless it spiritually, physically, materially, financially. In every front, touch them, transform them, bless them in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, take over. Take over. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Shall we get seated? 
With Jesus in our midst, nothing shall be possible. With Jesus in our midst, nothing shall be possible. With our God in our midst, nothing shall be possible. With our God in our midst, nothing shall be possible. With the Holy Ghost in our midst, nothing shall be possible. With the Holy Ghost in our midst, nothing shall be possible. Remember me, remember me, remember me, for the glory will be your own. Daddy, God in heaven, Daddy, God in heaven. My Lord Jesus, do it for me, do it for me, do it for me. All the glory will be your own. Father, Father in heaven, he will do it for you. Turn your Bible to Judges chapter 3. Judges chapter 3. I read from verse 13. Let's read from verse 12. <clears throat> An angel of the Lord appeared unto him. And said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be for us, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of? Say, did not. The Lord bring us up from Egypt. But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hands of the Midianites. Have I not sent thee? And he said unto him, O oh my Lord, where which shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is all a monastery, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. Look at chapter 7 and verse 18. Judges 7 verse 18. When I blow the when I blow with a trumpet I and all that are with me then blow ye the trumpet also on every side. Look at that place. Blow the trumpet on every side of the camp, every side of all the camp of the Lord and of Gideon. In Matthew chapter 16 
and verse Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I read Matthew 16 from verse 18. And it reads, And I saw some to thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Let's stop there. From these chapters and verses, I'm bringing you the topic, the sword of the Lord. I want you to pay attention. Many people are going through a lot of challenges in life. As a result, they wonder, where is the miracles that have had and seen in their lives? Like Gideon wondered, the Gideon of old, as was read in the book of Judges chapter 6, verse 13. Judges 6, please look at your Bible. I read verse 13. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this thing befalling us? And where be all his miracles which our Father told us of? Say, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us in the hands of the Midianites. This was Gideon. When Agui, he was, in fact, his people were going through a lot of you know, torment and torture and affliction at the hands of the Midianites. And then Gideon was told by an angel. An angel said, the Lord be with you, you mighty man of valor. And he began to say, if God is with us, why is all this thing happening to us? Gideon was saying, why is all these things befalling us if God be for us? And then Gideon said, our father told us, where is the miracles that our father told us of? If God be with us, as you said, the Lord be with you. Now mighty man of valor. And he said, if God is with me, where are those miracles? If God with us, where are those miracles which our father has told us of? How he delivered us from the hands of the Egyptians. How he has fought for us. So, that could be the problem of some of you who are here today saying, where are the miracles? You have heart and problems are everywhere. Even though you be a child of God, and you say, enemies and problems are all around within you and even as it is today you are wondering praise the Lord some of you are wondering where is the covenant of peace and blessings and miracle why we are suffering all these things where is that covenant we have with our God just that could be you want to find out if we have covenant of blessings and peace and long life, why is all this thing befalling us? Why are you going through this and going through that? That could be a question. Well, if that be the case, there's nothing to worry about. Such people should understand that come this program, the Lord will intervene. He will renew the covenant with us. And he will give us victory on every side in Jesus' name. He will prove to us again that he has made covenant with the chosen ones. Are you hearing me? I say God will prove it. Come this program on Saturday and Sunday. If you look at Psalm 89, verse 3, Psalm 89, I read verse 3. Look at the Bible. Psalm chapter 3. I have made covenant with my 
chosen. Chosen people as God made covenant with David and those that were before us. God is telling us to the chosen people, I'm also, I've made covenant with you, my chosen ones. And therefore, if you are in doubt, come Saturday and Sunday. Are you hearing me? He will never break his covenant. If anything has been wrong, it's from you. It's not from him. Praise the Lord. If you look at verse 33, it's God. He cannot lie. Psalm 89, verse 33, it says, Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take away from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor utter the thing that has gone out of my lips. Chosen people. God said, my covenant I will not break. If there is anything wrong in your life or what you are going through, trust it yourself. It's not with God. But nevertheless, let's come on Saturday and Sunday. The covenant shall be renewed. If you believe it, say amen. I don't know what they are suffering, what they are going through. And you are saying, if we have covenant with God, a covenant of long life and peace and blessing, why is all this thing happening? My friend listening to me, whatever that is happening to you, it trace the problem to you, not to God. God is with us. His covenant cannot break. And as we come on start that Sunday, God will reveal to you what you should do. And as you do it, you enter the covenant of faith in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? amen. So take note that come Saturday and Sunday, the covenant shall be what? I'm not hearing you. Come Saturday and Sunday. What happened to the covenant? It shall be renewed. That's why we're coming here Saturday and Sunday. Those who enter the covenant before, Come and enter covenant with God. You will never regret it. Throughout your life, you shall be blessed. God is the covenant keeping God. Can I hear you say amen? amen? So, in this message, I'm going to briefly talk on the following subheadings. One, the concern of Gideon and God's remedy. Two, our application and benefit. Let's go to point number one, the concern of Gideon and God's remedy. Israelites, being the covenant people of God, at this time, we are going through lots of challenges in the days of Gideon. And this constituted a big burden and concern upon Gideon. Why are my people going through these things? Take a look. When the father, the, the fathers, their fathers of old had told them how God has done many miracles for them, how God, I know, how God has fought for them, how God has brought them out of Egypt, how God fought for them in the wilderness, how God did many miracles, divided the Red Sea, gave them manna from heaven, gave them water from the rock, how God dealt with a Amalekite, how God dried by Jordan, how God also, you know, brought down the wall of Jericho and gave them the promised land. They knew all this, and their father had told them all these things that God had did for them in time past. And in the face of these things, why is these things happening to us with all that the Father has done for us? It was a big concern. With what the fathers of God have told us, that the living God, our Father in heaven, has done for us. Why is all this thing befalling us? That was a big concern. If God is with us, why is all these things happening to us? As Gideon was wondering to worship it, angel came and told Gideon what? 
I'm not hearing you. What did the angel tell told Gideon? Uh, are you sleeping? Okay, because of the heat, you don't understand. What? I'm asking you. He said, angel, Gideon was full of worry and, uh, you know, why are the Israelites? And uh, as that was going on, without bother, the angel came and said, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of God. And that was the word saying it. How is it that God is with me? And all these things are happening to us. Praise the Lord. Are you like that? Are you like Gideon? And are you saying what is happening to you all this? Why? Why is it that, you know, God, it said, I enter covenant with the chosen. Where is the covenant blessings? Is see you today? Go answer that question. I am very, very sure. I say, go with the world. Now, look at the case of Gideon. It says, look at it. It says, how God has done all this thing for them. Look at chapter 6 of Judges. Let's see what happened. Why was this thing happening to them? Somebody should be able to discern it from the places we are going to read now. Judges chapter 6. Sometimes many of us, many people are quick to conclude and they begin to blame God. And so begin to blame God. Don't do that. In Judges chapter 6 verse 1, why the question of Gideon is, why is all this thing befalling us? Let's find out. Chapter 6 verse 1. And the children of Israel did what? The children of Israel did what? In the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hands of the Midian seven years. I used to ask him, why is this thing befalling us? You can see the reason. The reason is what? I'm not hearing you today. They did evil in the sight of God. And then the covenant keeping God kept quiet and withdraw. I allowed the enemy to capture them and torment them for how long? Seven years. Were well, they working well for them? I'm asking you a question. Was this working well for them? What is the cause? They did evil in the sight of their Lord. Look at us. Verse 2. And the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. Can you see that the Midianites, the hidden people, were having advantage over the people of God because of what? Sin. And the, the hand prevailed over the Israelites. Look at that place very well. And because of the Midianites, what the Israelites did, they made themselves dams, which are in the mountains and caves and stronghold. They began to dig holes to hide. Because of singing, they suffer so much. Look at verse 3. And so it was. When Israel had sown, sown that the Midianite came up and the Amalekites and the children of the east. And even they kept up against them. Whenever they planted anything, you know, in their numbers, they will come against them and they destroy everything. Now, look at us. Four. And they encamp against them and destroy the increase of the earth. Did that come? Did that come of no substance for Israel? Neither sheep, nor us, nor us. For they came up with their cattle and their tents. And they came as grasshoppers for multitude, both they and they, and both they and their camels were without number. And they entered into the land to do what? To destroy it. And Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. So you can see when they were 
you know, in such condition when they did evil and the Lord abandoned and left in the hands of the enemy, they suffer for seven years. And the enemy did not allow them to make any progress that flitted them, that tormented them, they destroyed their increase, they destroyed their crops, they, you know, tormented the Israelites for seven years. And they cried out. So, I used to ask them, why is this thing befalling us? You have seen the reason. Praise the Lord. Now, Mugidon was asking that, but this was the reason. And I want to let you know, whatever be the reason, come Saturday and Sunday, that matter will be resolved. The Lord will do something. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Now, Gideon, the, if you look at that place, in chapter, chapter 6, verse 12, Judges chapter 6, verse 12, why in that condition, look at what happened. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. The Lord was talking to who? To Gideon. The Lord is with you. Upon your abundance, your concern, the Lord is with you. You mighty man of valor. Now look at the question Gideon asked. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? And where be all the miracles which our father told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? And now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us in the hand of the Midianites. Now, you know what say, all these things, you said, the Lord be with us. Now, where are those miracles that our Father has told us of? Now, the Lord has forsaken us. Now, I want to let you know. One thing that is very starting is it, it, the Israelites have sinned. That was the cause of their suffering. And Gideon said, if the Lord be with us, where are all the miracles our fathers have told us of? Praise the Lord. And you know that God delivered them, the, the, the Israelites, at that time of Gideon, because of the covenant God has made with Israelites. That's why he sent an angel to speak to Gideon and said, the Lord is with you. Because God had remembered his covenant. Because the children of Israel cried. And then God sent an angel to go and talk to Gideon. I'm with you. But the problem is with you. The people, your people have sinned. But I am with you. You mighty man of valor. Praise the Lord. So God remembered his covenant. Because Israel cried. And God came and reassured them, I'm with you. The problem is not with me. But the problem is with you. Praise the Lord. Now look at the Bible. In the book of, look at it. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 24. Let's see something there. Exodus chapter 2, verse 24. And I read Exodus chapter 2, verse 24. And God had their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham with Isaac and with Jacob and God looked upon the children of Israel and God had respect unto them because of what I'm, I'm not hearing you because of the covenant he had with them. He remembered the covenant. Even though they are suffering and they, you know, as a result of their problem. And God I remember the covenant. And God did something. If you look at that place we are reading, praise the Lord. One thing that's very certain is we are covenant people of God. That you have done this and done that. And you are suffering in faith. 
I want to let you know, God will not abandon us in the hands of the enemy because we have cried. Because there are people like Gideon with burden have cried. And God has decided to say, come on Saturday and Sunday, my people must be revived. They must be forgiven. That covenant must be what? Renewed. Because I am a covenant keeping God. I do not break my covenant. Therefore, Saturday and Sunday, I will renew the covenant with the chosen ones. Praise the Lord. So, God is the covenant keeping God. When you remember the covenant he had with the Israelites of old, in fact, the Bible said in chapter Exodus chapter 3 verse 6, this is something there. Exodus chapter 3 verse 6. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of the taskmasters, for I know they are sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land, unto a good land, and enlarge unto the land flowing with me and on. The point is, God, after hearing their cry, remember the covenant, and came down to deliver them from the hands of the enemy, as it was in the days of the Israelites in Egypt. Also, so was also in the days of Israelites, in the days of Gideon, when they have sinned, and as a result of that, God abandoned them, and they suffered for seven years. God remembered the covenant, and came down and said, Gideon, the Lord is with you. Praise the Lord, thou mighty man of God. By whose power? By whose mercy? By whose love? By whose grace? You believe it's by the grace of God? Then no wonder that message came and Gideon understood it and said to his people that when you go to that battlefield, say, the sword of the Lord and the sword of who? Praise the Lord and the sword of who? Praise the Lord because whatsoever the people are going to enjoy it is by the Lord. Deliverance and victory is of the Lord. Are you hearing me? And whatsoever you are going through I want to let you know, God will give you victory. God will show you mercy. God will deliver you. And at the end, I want you to understand, it is the finger of God, the sword of the Lord. You see this problem you are going through, God will take over. Even though your pastor is standing here with a lot of burden concerning you, and God has said, go on Saturday and Sunday. I am with you. I want to let you know it is the sword of the Lord. For of my own self, I can do nothing. Are you hearing me? Come on Saturday and Sunday. The sword of the Lord will be in action. All those enemies that get access to you, because of sin, because of righteousness, as you are meant to do and appear that day, the sword of the Lord will be in operation. He will deal with the Midianite, the Egyptians, all the Genesis and are tormenting you for years. I'm assuring you, the sword of the Lord will deliver you. If you believe it, say amen. So, if you look at this place we read before, let's read it again. I say, it is the sword of who? I'm not hearing you. In chapter 6, verse 12. I mean, the book of Judges, chapter 6, and verse, I read from verse 12. Please open your Bible. Let's see. Chapter 6, from verse 12. 
And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Because of the concern, God sent an angel and said, I've seen the concern. God is with you. And then look at verse 13. And Gideon said unto him, Oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this thing befalling us? All the miracles which our fathers told us of. Why this? Why was suffering these things? Where well, the miracle? How God brought us out of Egypt? He said, "Did not bring the Lord bring us up from e from Egypt, but now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites." And the Lord looked upon him and said, "Go." In this thy might, thou shalt save Israel from the hands of the Midianites. Have I not sent thee? Do you know why he said, Go in this your might? Do you know the reason? Because Gideon has knowledge from their fathers, he has read of what God did before. That has constituted man. When you remember what God has done before, I want to let you know you will have faith afresh, and then you can you can face your enemy. God that did it before, He will do it again. But assurance I'm giving to you. God spoke to Gideon, and Gideon said, "Well, where are those miracles?" And the fact, the fact you remember, God brought them. God delivered them. He said, go in this thy might. Praise the Lord. You are now going with the Father God that did it before. What the God that did it before, that same God will do it again. And he said, go in this thy might. You would have felt you would deliver the Israelites. I am standing here for you. Are you hearing me? I have awareness of what God has done for you before. And I can tell you what God is still doing for the choosing. And the assurance I'm giving you that God will never disappoint me. And don't ever look at me and say, Pastor, you are the one that do it, going to do this for me. Do that for that. I have a burden. I have a concern. I have a burden concerning what you are going through. But then it is the sword of the Lord. It is the Lord who did it before. I'm not hearing you. He will do it again. So, I am assuring you, come Saturday and Sunday, something must be done. Look at chapter 7, verse 18. Look at it. Judges chapter 7, verse 18. When I blow with... The, with a trumpet and all that are with me, then blow ye the trumpet also on every side of all the camp and say, The sword of the Lord and the sword of Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men that were with him came onto the side of the camp of camp in the beginning of the middle watch and they had both newly set the watch and they blew the trumpet and break the pictures that were in their hands that is at the battlefield and the three companies blew the trumpet and break the pictures and heard the lambs in their, lamb, in their left hands and the trumpet in their right hands to blow with all. And they cried the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And there stood every man in his place round about the camp. And all the host ran and cried and fled. That is wishable. The Midianites, all that is not against them, all the armies, they were just blowing the trumpet 
and bring in the pitchers their hands, there was no any arrow, there was no any spear shot, there was no any like any uh, weapon exchange hand. It was just the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. And they began to they just blow trumpet through. And then the next thing is what? The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. The, as they were blowing the trumpet, all the armies in their thousands, all the enemies in their thousands ran, became afraid, and fled. That will make you to understand it was the Lord that gave the people victory. And he has used his servant Gideon to to, to move them to that victory, to give them that victory. I was saying, they don't isolate Gideon because Gideon was an instrument that made God to really, you know, appear and then when he saw the concern and they used him to give them victory. I want to let you know that as we come on Saturday and Sunday, don't forget that I have a burden for you. I have concern for you. And so, if you say, the God of my pastor is not out of order. Are you hearing me? The God that made covenant with my pastor, the God that he, I have fought for him, and what is it? That God fight for me. My friend, God will answer that prayer. That God helped me. That God renewed the covenant. God will answer the prayers. So, Come Saturday and Sunday, the covenant will be renewed. God will do wonders in our midst. Are you hearing me? Look at that chapter 7 again. See how the obtain victory over the Midianites and over the enemies. Chapter 7. I read verse 22. And the 300 blew the trumpet. And the Lord said, Every man sought against his fellow. That means enemy began to do what? Kill themselves. Are you hearing me? Enemies of the people of God began to do what? Even throughout the host, they began to kill themselves. The host fled to, to Beth Shita in Zerat, Zerat and into the border of Abbe Mehola unto Teda. And the men of Israel gathered themselves together out of Naphtali, out of Asher, and out of Manasseh, and pursued after the Midianites. And Gideon sent messengers throughout all the Mount Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites, and they take before them the waters unto the but Bera and Jonah, and then all the men of Ephraim gathered themselves together and took the water unto Bet Bera and Jonah. The point is that the children of Israel pursued their enemy, even those armies, even without weapon, just the sword of the Lord and the sword of Gideon. I'm assuring you, come on Saturday and Sunday, you don't need to fight. God will give us victory. God will defeat our enemies. God Almighty, who has entered covenant with the chosen, because of that covenant, he will defend you. He will deliver you. And he will renew the covenant again in Jesus' name. That takes me to point number two, application and the benefit. Many people of brethren are wondering why they are having a lot of problem even as Christians and covenant people of God. Are you like that? You are wondering why you have a problem. I've told you the reason and so it is very simple. Why are you having a problem? Left, right, front, and back. don't blame the Lord. Don't blame anybody. Don't abandon the Lord. Don't abandon the church and begin to murmur. Why am I suffering? Am I not a Christian? Why am I going through this? Am I not a Christian? I've told you why the Israelite of old that were having covenant with God 
at the point in time, they have to be delivered in the hands of the enemy for seven years because of sin. So, don't ever ask me why. And not ever begin to ask God why. You should know the reason. You should examine yourselves. Are you hearing me? I say you should know the reason. And that's it. Are we not covenant people of God? And so like, like Gideon, they're asking the question, where are the miracles of God in your lives? And then, which you have heard and seen, even in this church, or you have been told in the Bible, and you're asking, where are the miracles? Praise the Lord. If that is your question, I want to let you know, the miracle is still here. And on Saturday and Sunday, God will prove to you that is the miracle, that is the miracle working God. But the problem is with you. Are you hearing me? Many of you, some of you because of faithlessness, some of you because of inconsistency in righteousness. Some of you, the problem you have, you never, never, be, you have never been faithful in keeping to the time as you're supposed to be in the church. You are never faithful in any appointment with God. You are not faithful in paying your tithe. You are not faithful in every instruction that has been given to you. And you are asking God, why is this thing happening to me? So many of you, because of what? Disobedience. Because of unrighteousness of one of you know of one righteousness of right, unrighteousness in one area or the other in your life. That's why this is happening to you. But if you can do something and say, Oh, I have discovered my fault. I'm sorry. God show me mercy. I'm ready to maintain righteousness come Saturday and Sunday. Honestly, God will see you through. Honestly, God will never leave you or forsake you from now till eternity in Jesus' name. Are you hearing me? God is faithful. He will keep to that covenant. But the problem is, will you realize your mistake and promise God you will never do it anymore? Will you cry out like those who cry, cried out? So, what we need to do, we all should amend our ways and come to this program on Saturday and Sunday to renew our covenant with God. I'm assuring you, God Almighty is ever ready. He's a covenant keeping God. He cannot break his covenant and he's waiting for you to come back to it and he will begin to bless you. So, Come on Saturday and Sunday and renew your covenant. He will deal with everything that has come upon you over the years. Covenant. God will deal with those things. Do you know when you break the age, what the Bible said? The serpent will bite you. When you break the the Bible said in First John chapter 5 and verse 18. So we know whosoever has born of God, sin it not. And he that begot not God, keeping himself. And that wicked one touched him not. When you pray the age, they will get assets. They will torment you. They will fight you. They will, you know, enemy will just, you know, oppress you and, and dump you in their prison and continue to torment you and destroy whatever you have. So, what we need to do today is search your life. Before that day, before Saturday. Let today be a day of preparation, such an amendment, so that God Almighty will remember the covenant and defend the covenant and deal with all the forces that are taking advantage of your sin and tormenting you. So, do something to learn. Don't forget, the people of God in time past Whenever there is an appointment with God, they will do something. And in most cases, God will instruct them to do something because God is holy. Praise the Lord. Because you know how weak 
human beings are and how often they go into it, something that's unacceptable. And that's why in time like this, God uses it to prepare his people in meeting with him. And in Amos chapter 4 verse 12, do you know what he said? Amos chapter 4 verse 12, praise the Lord, because God is coming to renew the covenant and bless his people. And we are meeting with God. Come Saturday and Sunday. He said, because, therefore, because I will do this, do what? I'm asking you a question. Prepare to meet thy God. So, because we're going to meet with him, prepare. Because he's going to come that to renew the covenant. Do what? To prepare prepare to meet the Lord. And because he's going to you know, bless you, fight for you. Prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. In the book of Exodus chapter 19. Exodus chapter 19. Exodus chapter 19. I read from verse 10. Look at it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes and be ready against the third day. For the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. So, as we are going to meet with the Lord, he said, as it was of old, the Lord instructed them, prepare for three days. Sanctify us and make sure nothing is standing between you and God. Amen. You are ways. And he said, on the third day, God will come down upon Mount Sinai. So, let us prepare and get ready for Saturday and Sunday. I'm assuring you, God will come down. He will deliver you. He will renew the covenant again and he will bless you in Jesus' name. Now, look at um, the book of Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. Joshua chapter 3 I read verse 5. Let's prepare. God is coming to do wonders in the midst of the chosen people. And so, preparation is required. You must make sure that from today, you start your life, amend your ways, knowing fully what God is said to do. Chapter 3, verse 5. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves. For tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders among you. So, instead of asking questions, why are you suffering? Why is this thing happening to you like Gideon? The Lord is telling you, sin was the cause. Therefore, get rid of it. Ensure what? Purity. And I will do what? I'm not hearing you. And I will do what? I will do wonders among you. If you will ensure purity, and then make it a conducive environment for me to operate. He said, I will do wonders. Don't forget, God is holy, is he? And Sami. And then, what does he require from us? Now, look at 1 Peter chapter 1, and I read. 1 Peter chapter 1. So, have you known what has brought the suffering to the children of Israel at the hand of the Egyptians, at the hands of the uh, Midianites, my friend, we must do something and stop asking questions. Why, why, why? Why am I suffering? Why am I going through this? My friend, let's stop that. Let us search our lives and ensure purity. And the Lord will come down to bring us out of those problems and renew the covenant in Jesus' name. Chapter 1. Be holy in all manner of conversation because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Let everybody endeavor as we come Saturday and Sunday ensure holiness on every side, thought, in words, and action, or disposition. Ensure what? Holiness. 
And while you are coming, let us be prayerful. The Bible will us understand that men ought always to pray and not to offend. And he said, pray without ceasing. And so, I want you to understand. Luke chapter 18, verse 1 says, men ought always to pray and not to offend. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and verse 17 says, pray without ceasing. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, in Luke chapter 6, verse 12, he prayed all through the night. We need to pray as we are preparing. Pray ceaselessly for this oncoming program. So that you become a spiritual person to meet a spiritual God, a spirit God. Are you hearing me? If you, if you, see, you see, Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights. As we are preparing this program, let us make sure we don't relent in fasting and prayers. Let us fast and pray seriously. And I'm assuring you, our covenant shall be renewed. Do you believe it? The covenant with God, covenant of peace and blessings and long life shall be renewed and everyone shall be blessed in Jesus' name. And God will fight for us. He will defeat our enemies by power or by the sword of the Lord. He shall restore all we have lost. Whatever we have lost over the year that, you know, as a result of giving uh, room for your enemy to attack you, whatever you are lost shall be restored. Are you hearing me? Look at the book of uh, Jewel, Jewel chapter 2. Jewel chapter 2. I read verse 25. Jewel chapter 2. I don't know what the enemy has taken from you because when they invented the Israelite of old, they took everything. They made them greatly impoverished. I don't know what they have done, what they have taken from you. But assurance I'm giving to you that come this program or shall be restored. I say everything shall be restored. Chapter 2 and verse 25. I read, and I will restore to you the years the locusts had eaten, and the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty, in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that did wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. He see, come Saturday and Sunday. Whatever the enemy has taken away from you shall be restored. The covenant shall be restored. The peace that is lost shall be restored. Long life shall be restored. Blessings of God in every area shall be restored in Jesus' name. Remember, He is the covenant keeping God. He will bless us and make us a blessing to our generation. Are you hearing me? Because that was the promise and the covenant He entered with our father of faith, even Abraham. Look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 12. Chapter 12, verse 1, rather. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Now, the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house. On the land I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and cause him that cost thee. And in thee shall all the families on earth be blessed. So, I want to let you know, God will bless us again. He will restore that covenant, and we shall be a blessing, and through us, all the people of the earth shall be blessed in Jesus' name. So, he will defend the covenant. I say, come Saturday and Sunday, as we amend our ways. Not only that God will bless you, he will defend that covenant. He will make sure that nothing happens to it anymore in Jesus' name. So, for those who do not believe, praise the Lord. All I want to let you know is God will do it. 
Whether you don't believe, God will do it. If you believe, God will do it. Because it's the covenant keeping God. So, if anybody is saying, I don't believe that God is going to, you know, he's going to renew the covenant, he's going to bless me. If you don't believe, it can't stop God from doing what he's going to do here on Saturday and Sunday. And if you say, I believe, the assurance I'm giving to you is God will do it. If you believe it, say amen. I say God will do it. He will bless you. He will renew the covenant. And if you look at Isaiah chapter 7, verse 11, let's read. There were some people in time past who said, somebody said, well, I will not ask for a sign. God still went ahead and said, I will do something. So, if you believe, fine, ask for a sign that God will do this on Saturday and Sunday. If you do not believe, still do what? Ask a sign. But if you refuse to ask a sign, God will give you a sign today. That come Saturday and Sunday, he shall restore the covenant. In chapter 7 of Isaiah, from verse 11, let's read. And he says, Ask the sign of the Lord thy God. As it either in the depths or in the height above. But I have said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. And he said, Hear ye now, O house of his David, is it a small thing for you to weary men? But will you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Praise the Lord. You see this matter we have treated today. I want to let you know that God that visited Gideon and his people and fought for them by the sword of their Lord. The same God will definitely visit us on Saturday and Sunday. And the sword of the Lord shall be in operation. And but if you say, well, I don't believe the Lord is saying what? As for a sign that I'm going to do it, that the sword of the Lord will do it, that the sword of the Lord will be in operation. You say, as for a sign. If you don't believe, it's a God himself, even in today's program, Will he give you what? A sign. That come Saturday and Sunday, you will do one last amiss. That the sword of the Lord will be in operation. I'm assuring you, whatever Gideon and his people enjoyed by the sword of the Lord in time by dealing with the enemy, giving them victory and bless them mightily, God will do it again. Are you hearing me? Because it is the same, the sword of the Lord. Somebody will ask him. So, do you mean God is going to use a sword to give us miracle? My friend, listening to me, the power of God will be in operation. And your miracle shall be granted to you. Are you hearing me? I said, that sword of the Lord is war. I'm not hearing you. Come Saturday and Sunday, the power of God will be in operation. Your sickness shall be healed. Your enemy shall be defeated. Every battle, God will give you victory. The Lord will bless you. He will, he will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. I said, the sword of the Lord shall be in operation. The power of the Lord, the hand of the Lord, I'm assuring you, what will happen here on Saturday and Sunday is the finger of God. So, do you believe? I'm asking the question. Then, ask for a sign. God, do this thing for me to prove that Saturday and Sunday you will visit us with your power. 
heal me, deliver me, provide for me, make a way for where there's no way. To prove to me that come Saturday and Sunday that you are going to bring us into the covenant and bless us mightily. Do this thing for me. Are you hearing me? And if you are not going to ask for that sign, God will still heal you, deliver you, bless you today to show to you that Saturday and Sunday is what? A reality. That his sword will be in operation in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen to that? In Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Matthew chapter 7. I don't know what you need here today as a matter of sign. I don't know what God you are asking God or what you want to ask God as a matter of sign. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. God has given you the permission. He said, ask. What happened? Whether you say, God Almighty, I want you to bless me financially today to prove to me that on Saturday and Sunday that you will visit us here with your power, the sword of the Lord. He said, do what? Ask. You need healing? Ask. You need financial Favor, he said, What? Ask. You need God to bless you with, you know, God to fight battle for you as for a sign. You need God to remember you in the area of marriage or conception as the Lord will give it to you. I say, God will give it to you as a matter of what? Sign. That Saturday and Sunday, He will do wonders here. And He said, Chapter 7, verse 7 again. As it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks, he see. see you today. You will receive that miracle. God will do it for you. But God has that power to do all things. In John chapter 14, verse 13. Chapter 14, reading verse 13, 14 and verse 13. And it reads, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, how will I do? The Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Is there anything you are asking to that as a matter of sight? God said, What? Do you believe? Do you believe? Now, listen to me. Whatsoever you want God to do for you as a matter of sign that Saturday and Sunday is a reality. A day that the sword of the Lord, the power of God will be in operation to bring us back to the covenant and deal with the powers that have been fighting us because of, you know, some breaking the covenant, going contrary to the will of God. God will deal with those powers that have invented us. I recover everything you are lost in Jesus' name. Are you ready for the sign now? Rise up on your feet. Ask for what? A sign. Ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door shall open for everyone that asks it. Receive it. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord, give me a sign. And if you are there, you have not amended your ways. Do it now. Ask God, save me, sanctify me, walk on me. Everybody pray. Ask for a sign. Everybody pray. The Lord is ready to renew that covenant. Are you ready to amend your ways? Amend your ways. And God is going to visit you. And deliver it from the hands of the enemies. I mean, you ask for a sign. Everybody pray. Everybody. 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 Let's really make business in prayer now. Ask God, sanctify me, save me. Lord, make me every week whole. Qualify me. Lord, for your visitation on Saturday and Sunday, find no. Which all things are possible, everybody pray. 
The soul of the Lord will be in operation come Saturday and Sunday. Everybody pray. Everybody pray, everybody pray, everybody pray. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Heavenly Father, I look up unto thee, Lord, I pray. Whatsoever has given the enemy the right. So intrude into the covenant we have with the Father, with the Son, with the Holy Ghost. Father, on the basis of the blood of the everlasting covenant, I pray, purge everyone. Purge this church. Make us pure. Make us holy. Sanctify everyone by our power in Jesus' name. Father, it is your will, even our sanctification. All I'm asking you sanctify our heart make us pure make us holy Lord make us worthy to receive from you today and on Saturday and Sunday to enter the covenant proper in Jesus name I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus in Jesus powerful name we pray now keep your offering up so I can pray for you. Keep your tithe, your pledges up. Keep it up. Heavenly Father, I present the tithe and offering and pledges to you. That no man can give above you. 
as we give to you. Sanctify our offering at tight and pledges by the blood of Jesus. That I sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon everyone. All I'm asking you, as we give to you this hour, open our ways. Lord, give us beyond our expectations in Jesus' name. Prosper your people. Wherever we shall place and I command to prosper. Bless us beyond our expectations in Jesus' name. Thank you very, very much. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Keep it up. Our chance are coming near you. Keep it up. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. The God of Jesus, Father, there is no Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Miracle walker. Daddy, there is no Amen. Oh, yes. Alpha and Omega. Daddy, there is no Amen. Oh, yes. Miracle Walker. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Miracle walker. There is no. Amen. Oh, yes. Alpha and Omega. Amen. Oh, yes. Miracle Walker. Amen. Oh, yes. They got your truth. Amen. Oh, yes. Miracle walker. Amen. Let's uh, hand up for your chest. Assurance I'm giving to you. That sign you ask. Or even you that said, I don't want to ask a sign. I don't want to tempt the Lord. But you believe that God will do something. Today God will give you a sign. And I want to pray for you. You came in here with breast cancer. As a matter of sign, I cancel that cancer. Receive healing, be healed of that cancer in Jesus' name. And somebody you have been suffering terrible case of leg, leg poison. But authority in the name of Jesus, I cause the poison. Yeah. I command that leg to dry up, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. And I pray for you. You don't sleep very well. You find it difficult to sleep a normal sleep. I cancel that evil. I decree that today, this night, you will sleep like a baby. Yeah. You that don't even sleep at all, at all, even today, wherever you are going to sit after this service, you will sleep there. Yeah. My daddy, that person having moving object, 
I can't sleep be healed. I command that object to disappear now in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Nothing. Every time disappointment. You don't have your way. Anything you want to do. You find ups and downs. I break the yoke today. All the disappointment you will see it no more. And I pray somebody here. In fact, the way the people around you are mocking you is something else. But mark my word. Nobody after today, anyone that shall rise to do that, that person will have himself and himself to be blamed. Because God has been provoked and he will visit you with miracle, with deliverance, with victory, with blessings. Can I hear you say amen? Now, I want to pray for this young man. Your business close up. In fact, it's like the, it's like the use of a lock, the lock in the spirit realm. And all your finance, everything. Today, I bleed the yoke. Yeah. I command that from today, the people that have forgotten you, even today, in business, the ring will call you yeah. and make promises and supply to you in Jesus' name. Yeah. I pray for somebody here for some time now. It is just backwardness, backwardness, backwardness. Nothing like making progress. I break the yoke of spirit or retrogression in Jesus' name. I command that yoke to break. I command from today, every chosen one, everyone, I command to move forward and possess a possession in Jesus' name. That terrible headache we can so be healed. That person that have problem of a high sugar level be healed. That high BP I can so you be healed. The one that having low sugar be healed. The person with toilet infection be healed. That malaria be healed in Jesus name. That the high fall fever be healed in Jesus' name. That I, I command to disappear now. And I pray for you. Operation that of that fibroid be cancelled in Jesus' name. I command the bleeding as a result of that fibroid cease now. I, I command to cease in Jesus' name. My daddy. You are God, you are not a man. All these ones that married and no child, that they need a sign, let the yoke break down. Receive your own children in Jesus' name. I call for conception. I call for intervention. For intervening in Jesus' name. That terrible disease somebody contacted and you have lost hope of survival. Today I cause the disease. I command to dry up and disappear in Jesus' name. Staphylococcus be here. HIV be here. That syphilis be here. Tuberculosis, coughing and cough, be healed. My daddy, bless my people. He, my people, deliver my people. That constant urinating, be healed in Jesus' name. I command the cup waste to vanish away from you in Jesus' name. Whatever they have used to block your way. Or receiving favor, I command fire to consume it. My daddy, bless my people. 
I pray for this person, say, I have no helper, and you are crying, you have no helper. Now I give you 24 hours. You will receive favor from our boy. Even as I'm talking now, favor has come your way. That person complaining about their husband. That woman, I pray that whatever they have done against her husband be cancelled. <laughs> Father, deliver that family in Jesus' name. I cause sickness, I cause that stranger, evil person, I be uprooted in Jesus' name. My daddy, yeah, people can never serve you in vain. You see that quick notice I cancel it only. And you that have been crying, how am I going to finish your building? I pray by miracle that building shall be finished. And all those people that are prizing your property and they will run away. I give them order to come and buy those property in Jesus' name. My father. Bless everyone. Let this person's debts be cancelled. That I pray that that delay in marriage be cancelled. Lord bless my people mightly in Jesus' name. This person you are getting weaker and weaker. No strength. Strength is going. In the name of Jesus, receive strength. Yes, I'm waiting. In the name of Jesus Christ, whom I serve, I command, receive strength. <laughs> Damage immune system, weak immune system, be transformed to a brand new one in Jesus' name. <laughs> My daddy, I pray for this person that you are living in a yard where the enemy has done something evil. And as a result, nothing is working for you. I destroy that evil. I pray that for today, begin to make progress in Jesus' name. That your son seeking admission, let admission be granted. I, in Jesus' name, I pray for you. Financial miracle Allah today, in Jesus' name. Daddy, Every sign they have asked of you concerning the message on Saturday and Sunday. Oh Lord, break every barrier. Give them the sign. Give them the sign. Give them the victory. Intervene in Jesus' name. Keep quiet. Somebody here. For some time now, it's as if though your body is not your own. It's like the enemy has taken over. Spirit of affliction. Now, 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 receive deliverance. E scavia le scantenia. Wherever you are, the person I'm talking about, let the power of God, let the sword of the Lord, the power of God come upon you in Jesus' name. But we see healing. We see healing. We see deliverance. Yes, yes. Yes. Finish that walk. Finish that walk. I command your blood to return to normal. I command strength, power to come upon you. Holy Ghost. Just touch that person again. In fact, all of you in that condition begin to receive your deliverance now. Holy Ghost power. 
Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost power. Lord, give me a sign. You will never live here, they say. I command deliverance for you in Jesus' name. Evil determination against somebody. I revoke it. I decree. It shall not stand. Now it shall come to pass. Whatever they are planning against you, it is in vain. Whatever they are planning against your marriage, against your property, against your progress, it is in vain. We see victory in Jesus' name. That thing which you have lost, that glorious thing, and over the years, over the, over the period, you have said, I need that thing back. I need that glory. I need that blessing. I need that miracle. I need that favor. Or you stretch your hands. Whatsoever, no matter, no matter how many years, no matter what it is, by the authority in the name of Jesus, receive it in Jesus' name. We see, we see, we see, we see. Oh, yeah, stretch your hand again. Stretch your hand. Don't, don't take your hand back to your body. Just say, I receive it. A person waiting for miracle money. Miracle finance. No matter how big it is. Whether in millions of dollars. Whether in millions of naira, billions. Say, I receive it. Receive it. Scaviana Rusen, Jenny Coprena. That person looking, I need a life for somebody back. Say, I receive it. Let that person come back to life in Jesus' name. I command your business to revive. I command favor, miracle, intervention in Jesus' name. Oh yeah, stretch your hand. Say, I receive it. Keep quiet, keep quiet. Because if you are receiving it, you will see a sign. Holy Ghost. Lord as Catania Uria. Lord let there be sign. Receive it for your children, for your husband. Receive it yes, receive for the family. Receive it now. Broken marriage be cancelled. Let your husband come back to you. Receive that visa. Receive that employment. Receive that citizenship. Receive that connection. Receive that contract. Receive that intervention. For intervening Jesus name. Receive that license. Receive that license. Receive that application in Jesus' name. From today, God will give you a sign. It is the time for the sword of Gideon, the God of my pastor. It is the time for him to operate. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the man of war. Oh, yeah, step into the action, step into the battle. Lord, give your people victory in Jesus' name. Shout Amen. Keep your hands, stretch your hand again. Something good. 
is coming your way. As a matter of sign, I command from heaven, let that blessing be dropped in your hand in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, give that person sign. In that your family, at the end of this ministration, they will call you and tell you what the Lord has done. We see that sign in Jesus' name. Sign of signs and wonders, a miracle of favor, deliverance, come upon in Jesus' name. Yes, something great is happening. I want that young man laugh three times. <laughs> Let that be laughter in your family. Yeah. Testimony, 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 testimony. Yeah. Wherever you are, those who cannot walk, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Yeah. Just rise up. Use your body, your heat. Use a stroke, you are hit. Spinal cord injury, you are hit. Broken bone joint together. Oh, your yeah, young man, rise up and walk now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Right, walk, come in the front, come in the front. Whatever you are, that young man I'm talking about, come in the front and walk now. Everything that projected in you that make you not to walk, I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. Uh, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Now, if you see anybody that's not walking, now tell the person what I said. Come in the front and touch your leg. Touch your walking system. Touch your walking system. That stroke be hit. That woman are having terrible waist pain be hit. That kidney problem be hit. That liver problem be hit. Oh, yeah. Walk now, walk now. I'm waiting for you. Come in the front. I said, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. I said, walk now. I said, walk, walk. You can walk. In the name of Jesus, I lose you. Yeah. Or just watch. Whoever that's having stick or crutches or even not walking, that person can walk now. Yes. Yes, yes, I can see them walking out. I can see them walking out. I come out, come out, come out and walk. Come out and walk, walk, walk now, walk now, walk now. You have the power, the anointing is there, the Holy Ghost is there. Arise and walk in Jesus' name. Where is that person? I said, Somebody is there. He said, Walk now, you are here. You need to come in the front. Don't make a step. You will see what God will do. Come in the front. Come in the front. Come in the front. Come in the front. Can't you hear me? Come. Or just bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Keep on walking. Keep on, keep, keep on walking. You are here. You are here. You are he, you are he, you are he, you are he. Keep on walking, keep on walking. Yes, all of that, that like him, that he used to walk, walk, walk. You can, you, the power of God is here. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. I'm waiting for you, I'm waiting for you. Drop your crutches. I can't even know. You see, there are some people there. My friend, tell them what I have said. The devil cannot resist it. 
I lose you. I set you free. I declare you free in Jesus' name. Now, anything that hinders your working system, I destroy that. Rise up and walk. All of you that have glaucoma, uh, cataract, blindness, I cancel blindness. I cancel cataract. I cancel glaucoma. Spirit of blindness, I bind you. I cast abyss in Jesus' name. I command your eyes to be open. Begin to see clearly well in Jesus' name. All the cases of death or dumb, I cancel death and dumb. Begin to hear, begin to see, begin to speak in Jesus' name. Let your tongue be loose. Let your mouth be loose. Receive your system. Begin to use it in Jesus' name. Every kind of abnormal growth be canceled. Disappear. Swelling body disappear. Every affliction disappear. Trouble in the life disappear. Receive freedom in Jesus' name. All the people having insanity, loss of memory, I cancel it. Stammering tongue, I cancel it. And kidney failure, I cancel it. Liver problem, I cancel it. Receive brand new one in Jesus' name. Shout Amen. Wherever they are, that's your body now. If you brought any person who cannot hear, say one, say two, say Papa, Mama, Jesus. Quickly. If you brought any person of madness, that person is free. Any child that is not working, that child can walk now. Any cripple can walk now. All the people that are you know, that are having madness, they are free. The Kaperuski Tena, the Scandalia Capri Secundo, O Lord, glorify our Son Jesus. Glorify our Son. Everyone they are, regain your freedom in Jesus' name. Shall be amen. Now rise up on your feet, rise up, check your body now. While I take those testimony, the first testifier. Pastor, there is a miracle here. Hello. This is our sister said she's coming for the first time today. And she had stroke since last year. But she was surprised instantly after you pray. All the symptoms of stroke disappear. Can we clap for free. Jesus? Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Yeah, walk free. Let them see. Walk. A big clap offering to Jesus. A big clap offering to Jesus. A big clap offering to Jesus. The next person. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. God of choosing you are Please good. rise up on your feet before we take all that testifier. Somebody, you are just sitting on your miracle. Rise up so you can you can use your you can enjoy your miracle. The next testifier. Pastor, our brother said he is coming today for the second time. He came many years ago. He had accident in 2005. And as a result of the accident, he began to work with this device. And he said he has been having severe pain. But Pastor, after your prayer, now he says since he came, when he sat down, the pain disappeared. But as you are praying now, he's seeing the pain no more. Look. Come we clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we are saying thank you. God of choosing you are good. Father, we are saying oh, thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying. Thank you, the God, God of choosing you are good. 
brethren, this is our brother here. By the time they were telling how he to stand, he find it difficult. But as he continued to hear, he was able to use his body and start walking. Always listening to what I do say. Today you are healed. A big clap of hope for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. You are free. You are healed. The next testifier. Amen. You are free. The next testifier. Pastor, our sister said coming to church this morning was very difficult for her. Because the leg was swollen up and she couldn't walk at all. She couldn't even move. They had to be carrying her from one place to another and she was paying money. But, now, but after your prayer now, she felt relieved. A big clap of hope for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. My master Jesus. Oh, my master oh, Jesus. Jesus. My master 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 Jesus. A big clap of hope for Jesus. The best testifier. Pastor, our sister said she's not coming today for the first time, but she's not a consistent worshiper. But she said she had sharp pain in her leg and severe moving objects that have been on her for over two years. But she said after your prayer, the sharp pain in her leg disappeared and the moving object is gone. Of Jesus, my master Jesus, oh, my master Jesus, my master Jesus, oh, my master Jesus, oh, my master Jesus, oh, my master Jesus, oh, my master Jesus, my master Jesus, my master Jesus, my master Jesus, you are here. The next testifier, amen. Clap of Jesus. The next test to fire. Pastor, our brother said she he has been feeling weak. He couldn't carry his body. But after your prayer, the weakness disappeared and he's free. Can he do what he cannot do? Clap for Jesus. Carry go, carry go. Carry go, carry go. God of choosing, carry go. Carry go, carry go. God of choosing. Carry go, carry go, God of choosing, carry go, oh carry go, oh carry go, oh carry go, oh carry go, carry go, carry go, God of choosing, carry go. Amen. You are here. Amen. Amen. That's the fire. Pastor, this was the case you mentioned that somebody here you are not getting yourself at all. Mama said when she came, she wasn't getting herself. She said she's 77 years old. But pastor, after your prayer now, life is restored to her. Strength has come to her. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Oh, what? My master Jesus, oh, my master Jesus, my master Jesus, oh 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 my master Jesus, Amen. At seven seven years, she can dance and jump like this. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Yes, we are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you. God are choosing you are good. Now keep your prayer request all. If you don't have any, make three special requests and raise your hands up. I'm praying for you. Keep your hand, your picture up. I'm praying over them. Remember, publicity continue to late tomorrow. 
and until the crusade there. Heavenly Father, all these prayer requests lifted up. And all their hands that lifted up, Father, touch them now. Yeah. Heavenly Father, grant answers to all their requests in Jesus' name. Yeah. That sickness that person sick in the hospital now, and you are representing the person here, that person has set him free. Like pray for somebody here with mouth bitterness, bitterness of mouth. Be healed. I can't sort of affliction in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. You have been going for a particular thing, and attention is not given to you. Your request is not granted. After my prayer today, I give you from now to tomorrow that request shall be granted. Yeah. That person will be missing. I command that person to return home. Receive a news of that person in Jesus' name. Yeah. My daddy, bless them one by one. He the sick, deliver the oppressed, provide for the poor. Fight all the about defeat their enemies in Jesus' name. Yeah. Whatsoever they have lost, I want to be restored in Jesus' name. Yeah. Bless them beyond their expectations. All those hand key on their hands, I pray for anointing that break on the work. Let it come upon them in Jesus' name. Yeah. That they, as they go home, as they go for publicity and uh, as they prepare for the oncoming program, let their presence go before them. Yeah. That they put testimonies in their mouth. Yeah. Let all of them testify in Jesus' name. Yeah. Say amen to that. Yeah. Say it again. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Now, now bring down your hanky, your pictures up. You're also going to stretch your hand upon your pastor and say, God Almighty, strengthen him, empower him, anoint him. For oncoming program, let, let that be greater. My prayer for your pastor now. Ask God to work on him, strengthen him, uphold him, maintain him from above, renew his youth, renew his strength, renew him, refill him. Pray for him. Ask God for more empowerment, more grace, more anointing. Ask God to possess him. God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Pray for excellence, seven excellence, Peter God, the rest of us. Pray for strength from above. Strength from above. Power from above. Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost. Pray for him. Pray for him. In Jesus' name, we oh pray. Pray for him again that Saturday and Sunday, that the Lord God that appear before Gideon as the sword of the Lord, that day will appear before me. And they will go with me as the soul, the power of God, to bring people into a covenant and live them in covenant blessings and miracle. Pray for me again. Let the presence of God go before me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Possess me. Empower me. Robo ko shaya raba lazando mi kapelusia rezu vi na lusintenia itavin in Jesus name we pray. Why no pray for spiritual and physical strength? Why no pray that the faith will increase thousandfold? Pray for him. Le mana kapelusia le mara karusia jeni kon pray. Oh Lord, have your way. Strengthen spiritual and physical, oh God. 
make me stronger and stronger. I pray, increase the faith a thousand fold. Whom was then Jacob pressed the He have in Jesus. In Jesus' name, we oh, pray. Heavenly Father, in agreement, I declare that every prayer made for me is done. Receive all glory in Jesus' name. And for all these ones that pray for me, remember them for good. Bless them come Saturday and Sunday. Bless them mightly in Jesus' name. Child, amen seven times. Amen. It is done. Remember Saturday and Sunday. Go and bring in fasting and prayers in publicity. What only tomorrow and today? Go out. And invite all to come. And the Lord will bless you. And renew the covenant with you. In Jesus name. Your covenant will rule with Jesus. As I go and keep on singing this song. I'm the God of choosing us. Pray out. Choosing us. Pray out. I'm the God of choosing us. Pray out. The God of choosing us. Pray out. The God of chosen as a prayer. 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 Don't mama, don't fear. The God of chosen as a prayer. Don't mama, don't mama, don't fear. The God of chosen as a prayer. Don't mama, don't fear. The God of chosen as a prayer. Don't mama, don't mama, don't fear. The God of chosen as a prayer. Don't mama, don't fear. The God of chosen as a prayer. Wow! Such a sweet fellowship this afternoon. As I go home with your blessing. Next tomorrow, beginning of the program, Easter retreat.